Let's put the shirt on, because I'm done washing your belly. I'm gonna put the shirt back on, man. It's fucking cold. The fuck? <laughs> I know it's freaking cold, but seriously, you gotta you gotta bathe yourself every once in a while. It's freezing. Oh my <laughs> god. It's so cold. Alright, I'm gonna the file up. Because we got a lot to do today. Well, no, as in a lot to do, as in a lot to run around in circles. Hope you guys like Undertale Genocide mode. That's pretty much what this session's gonna be. Alright, uh, can you guys hear me just fine? Can you guys hear Linky just fine? I just clicked out of the game, that's why you can't hear the game anymore. Yeah. Can I get my bottle of water right here? I just got coffee. Because <laughs> my night Did doesn't just... end when this is all over. <laughs> oh, you just woke up? Oh, uh, I took a nap. Because I was up since really early in the morning. Hey, Silver, thank you very much for the, uh, the bits. Alright, alright, Spartan, hold on a second. Oh, fuck, I didn't get the Dragon Ball music ready. Uh, alright, hold on. We're willing to hold on to that for a second. Let me get the, uh... Alright, all right, I'll copy and paste. Yeah. Well, no, I, I scrolled the, uh, chat so he won't disappear. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see... Is that... <laughs> Well, I think I know what that is. Right, one second. Yeah, so it's gonna be a normal, nice, normal section problem. Nothing special really did happen today. Okay, there we go. One second. All right. Last time on Cleanly Brave Six, the last of the side quests were completed. Everyone got their asses kicked, and Jimbo took his union break from carrying the party to victory. It is now time to force the other random people who have seen us. Little Little use to kill monsters aimlessly to gain better stats. Coming up now in episode 22, The Daily Grind. Yeah, okay, but that's uh, that's actually right on point, Spartan, because... Uh, folks, I, I... I hesitate to even call today's tonight's part of session, because that's all we're going to be doing today. We are going to be grinding... To get the other characters up to stuff because here's the thing. Let us uh let me turn off Bruce for a second here. <laughs> and then pop the chat out so I can actually read what you guys are doing, because yeah, gotta have a lot of time for for uh interaction tonight because yeah, th this is background noise tonight, folks. Hello, is this Fratelli's pizza? This is not what uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That was uh, my dad, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Does he want some pizza? Also, I'm so sad. Uh, I, I, I figure we got a lot to talk about. Alright, so... Uh, so here's the thing. This is the reason why we're doing the grind tonight. Is because, look, my main characters... Most of my main characters... Are not up to snuff. Uh, Purple, Saban, Philia, Jimbo... They're in their 30s. That's fine. That's kind of what I want everybody to be. But everybody else, I mean, let's get on the airship and see what we got to do. Hey, so, no, oh boy, nothing like the Eureka grind, yeah. Oh, no, don't. Does does, does Pyros go live soon? Did it already go live? I think it goes live next week. Next week, okay, yeah. I no, still, I just, I I just, still haven't that. done Pagos. <laughs> same here, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> Kefka's Tower requires three parties, and uh, if Brave New World is just going to continue kicking me in the dick, as it's done the entire time, I'm going to need everybody up to snuff. And, uh, oh my god, look at this. Purple's 32, Locke is 20, Sad Dad is 24, Dickhead is 18, Pedro is 27. <laughs> Pedro won't need that much. You know, Saban's 34, Felius 32, What is 20, Jimbo what? is fine, what? Jojo is 18, Boy is 18, <laughs> Maz doesn't need that much, thankfully, Rucksuck is fine, Shade is almost there. <laughs> oh yeah, Shade needs to summon the Immortal Dragon of Bahamut. We gotta get them up to snuff, so uh, this is what the session's gonna be all about. We're gonna start with the mid, mid-tier ones, the ones that won't take that long, so let's get Realm, Sad Dad. Uh, who else is here? Uh, Demaz, and... Bring what? And, you think, what? What? Yeah, bring him what? <laughs> Rut's in the low 20s, though, man. Look at well, Pedro. Well, might as well go ahead and give him the start. 
get the lower ones up a little bit more while you're doing it there in the mid sections. Mm -hmm. Uh, Link, thank you very much for the subscription, man. To, uh, five months in a row. One more, you get your golden mug. Uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate is my favorite Kirby game. I can't believe they added Audrey from the little shop of Howard. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, boy. All right. So uh, I gotta uh, ask right now. What's up? Is anyone else getting smashed tomorrow? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can now, you can preload the game into the Switch now, isn't that right? Or no, I mean, game. because Gino's not in Smash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just drink the summer of the way. I'm glad I kept my expectation pretty low this time around. Because <laughs> I got everybody I want. I don't care about anybody else. Everybody All right, else. so I have to ask chat. Because uh, it's been a few hours since um, the direct. I mean, what, do you, what did you guys feel about the World of Light trailer? The light. Like, Everything that happened, and Legend of Daniel. Thank you very much for the bits, dude. Do you think that Terra or someone else from Final Fantasy would be a DLC character? There was a story from when Cloud was announced back in Smash Four that some other character from Final Fantasy would be in the game. I don't think if there's going to be another third-party representative from Square, Daniel, it won't be Final Fantasy. Uh, the big rumor is that it's Gino or Sora. If it's not Huey Emmerich. Huey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Huey. <laughs> <laughs> he does Snake. not deserve a Smash <laughs> roster spot. Fuck him. Snake, what are you guys doing here? This is just like, well, I'm a Japanese anime. Oh, no, that's Hal. Yeah, that's Huey. Hal. Huey. Huey is, I'm going to blow up this Japanese anime. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I just show you my Metal Gear lore? <laughs> Huey's the one from the uh, prequel games. The one in the wheelchair. <laughs> The one that conceived in a wheelchair. <laughs> the one conceived in the wheelchair? <laughs> no, no, no. The one that raped a woman while in a wheelchair. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I didn't know that. that. <laughs> yeah, wrap your uh, mind around that one. Huey's all yeah, maybe dead. just a bit. <laughs> uh, I gotta get some background music. Uh, so, do you want to go in order of the Direct, or do you just want to start at a specific time? Uh, I guess we can go in the order of the Direct. Well, one of the Title card, things... what do you guys think? Uh, <laughs> I'm still confused Switch. as to why it's called Special in Japan and Ultimate in America. Hey Ryan, thank you for the bits. How are things going? I'm wanting the Super Mario Bros. title screen as a new fighter. <laughs> I mean, because, they don't... because they don't call it the uh what you call it the special edition in um japan yeah, and while here like in the u.s it's ultimate special edition and it's like uh <laughs> <laughs> oh wait you know what hold on let me uh i'm gonna give uh i'm gonna give Edgar longinus all right so, Chet, how do you feel about the uh, first two uh, new gunners? Ken as Ryu's Equifier, and Cat Fire Guy. Incineroar. Incineroar. Cat I, Fire Guy. I am never going to call that. I'm, gonna, I'm never going to call him that. <laughs> so, I was just watching the direct a little while ago, I'm about 20 minutes in, and I think one of my favorite lines that he says about Incineroar is that... His final smash is based off a Z move, but it's faster and more ferocious. And I'm like, yeah, you got faster down, right? Because it took <laughs> half a minute <laughs> in the original game. So yeah, it just just be glad you don't have to do the Z move; just activate it. <laughs> yeah, basically, you got to take the Joy Cons and just do the special little dance you have to do in order to activate the Z move. <laughs> Ken makes me wonder why Doctor Mario isn't an Echo Fighter. Says punished, uh, punished her. Um, hey. Hmm. I see your point. Well, he's not going to shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Dr. Mario just might be like Grandfather Claus at this point. I think that's why he's not Echo. I agree. It probably would make more sense if he was Echo Fighter. Yeah. I never play Street Fighter, so I just look at Kid and Ryu and be like, hey, it's Kid and Ryu. That's all I know. <laughs> but then again, wouldn't Ryu be Kid and Echo Fighter? Where's Ed Bison? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you be, oh, what, what, the boxer? No, he's not in the game. Like no, no, I'm talking about the dude with the cape. The boxer? Yeah, I know. 
He does have a cape. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't, he does, he does. don't you do that to me! Yeah, well, I mean, he does have a cape. <laughs> you know, before he gets ready to fight. Okay, fine. Where's Vega? I, I like I like it when he wears that mask. <laughs> I, was, I thought you said okay. Vega. Alright, Shadow, thank you for the bits. What about the me fighters? What are gonna happen to them in spirits? But they're dead, baby. Everybody's dead. Okay. <laughs> I'm about well, to say okay. that we're dead. The me's well, the are us. Topic. Um, them axing the models. Oh, the trophies. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't like that. Again, as I, I said, know. I understand why they did it, but Part I don't. Of space and time. Uh, well, yeah, I, know, I think time. I don't think space had anything to do with it. I think it was definitely time, because he does go out of his way to mention that, which was extremely difficult, by the way. The the models took too much time, given how, given escalation of sequels and how much you have to add to you know supplement the sequels and all sort of thing. I understand why they were axed. I don't. I don't agree with the exclusion, but I understand why they were. Yeah, those models, they take forever to make. Especially with wanna... the level of detail that Sakurai wanted to put, put to like little, every little detail about each of those statues. Uh, oh my god, that's, in, that, that's, um, that's ambition. Oh, oh, that's ambition right there, but maybe you can kind of lay it back just a little bit. You don't have to go that far ahead. <laughs> I would have just been fine if they kept the models from Wii U and 3DS and then added like 10. Yeah. <laughs> to make up for like the new content that they're doing. <laughs> but I guess at the same time, they didn't want to render out models from like Metal Gear Solid 5 because Konami would have been an issue in that case. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which, Don't oh my god. Special and... Ultimate, no trophies are out of 10. Nah, I'm not that petty. <laughs> Yeah. Which, yeah, oh my god, Nintendo officially acknowledges uh, Metal Gear Solid V. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, okay, what, what, whenever I saw, like, the whole, like, group of all the spirits just, like, in the section, I'm like, hey, look at all these spirits. I know who that guy is. I can't remember who his name is. Uh, it's Captain Sunshades from the uh, No More Hero series, isn't it? <laughs> hey, uh, Fear Star, look at all the sub gifts. Hey, nice. Give that man a cookie. But not too many, because he's about to get incinerated. I was half expecting like a sticker of Gino, and all I could imagine him saying is, What are we here for? <laughs> <laughs> Just suffer. <laughs> he gets included only just to die immediately. Alright, so <laughs> this is what I know in terms of grinding in Brave New World. Uh, T-Rexes are still a good source of just general experience, but they don't give you spell points. So we're going to be using them to just get levels up. After that, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to go into the Figaro Desert to get spell points from Cactars and all that sort of thing. Um, oh yeah, they do spawn around there. Okay. Uh, so, spirits? I, it's gonna be an interesting concept for that little thing, especially when it go in through the signal player. Like, it's not gonna get much use of multiplayer unless they do stuff online with them, though I don't think they will or not. Though, depending on if you find the right ones, it's basically gonna be overpowered as heck. But it is a nice addition, in my opinion. Like, it's, it's nice to have it right there, because I know people are gonna miss the trophies, but having these spirits, or stickers in this case, Eh, still something at least. It just feels a little awkward whenever they use ten year old renders. <laughs> <laughs> like no, that's part of the that's part of the game. That's its feature. <laughs> well, just like that Hal Emmerich model is straight from Metal Gear Solid Four. <laughs> I was surprised they didn't went with the well. Okay, I was gonna say why didn't they went with the art design, but then I remember Kojima. <laughs> well, no, they they went with the. Uh, the Peace Walker art design for one character, I can't remember which, but they showed up um, in one part, and it was like the comic book design. Yeah, that's all I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't do it with the fifth, or the uh, ones from the fifth. Well, there weren't that many that were dis that, that were sketched out like that for Metal Gear Solid uh, 5. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. The I had the NTA Master, I'll fully admit I cried a bit when Isaac was shown as an insist. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I'm indifferent because I don't play Golden Sun, and I know you guys have wanted him as a character since Brawl, but I mean, them's the breaks. I, I, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. 
Yeah, but at the a... same time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but. Yeah, I'm about to say there, for this one, this direct, there wasn't really any other characters I was looking forward to because I got my mains already. That's all I care for. If anything, I kept my expectation pretty low because I kept them pretty high, like saying, ooh, maybe Gino, ooh, maybe uh, uh, people from Hyrule Warriors, mm, maybe Final Fantasy characters again, maybe 14 characters. Never gonna happen, but... <laughs> By the way, I like what you did with that video you did earlier. Uh, which one? The 14. The 14? <laughs> oh, dude. The ball that, is just basically That coming. clicked. That clicked <laughs> as soon as I exported the direct. Uh, because it's like, I'm looking at all these streams of light, like, no, this was a lot like glammy. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I guess, uh, Louis Swa is just basically Kirby <laughs> sending everybody off as he take. Or no, it'd be Rob. For Game & Watch. My favorite right? character would not die. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Mr. Sakurai. I wonder if I can put Wait. him to sleep. Cause this is going nowhere fast. So, yeah, Kirby's new adventure- Kirby's new adventure in Smash. Starring everybody else besides Kirby. <laughs> you know, for a second there, whenever he was like riding on the warp star to get away, I thought it like exploded or something. <laughs> I was like, oh god. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hansa, uh, Neon Mo, hey John, can I get a recap what's going on? We are just grinding today, buddy. And I'm gonna be picking yeah. a different spot because this is getting nowhere. With this party comp, this is getting nowhere. Yeah. Oh, and we're also crying because Gino. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not crying. But... <laughs> I'm just eating popcorn. <laughs> like, literally the only character I wanted in because I knew that Shantae and Zero would never get in. Let me see. What would be the second to last? I don't want to go to the Cultist Tower. I would say probably just go to the Cactars. No, no. This got the, but the Cactars won't give me experience. There's going to be spell points. And I got to level up. Nah, yeah, let's try Hyden's Cave. Let me see how far I can get with Hyden's Cave. Yeah. Uh, but uh, how about that that new song? Oh, the, yeah. uh, the vocal song. What was it? I think it was called Life Light again? Yeah, Life Light. Life Light. Sounds like li really close to Light Bright. <laughs> light Bright. Light, light, light bright. bright. Oh my god. They're all dead. Oh yeah, I was able and I was able to find out what the creature's name is. His name is Gleam. What is it? G E L E E M Gleam. Oh, where'd you find that from? The website. Oh, okay. Apparently, it's a guy. <laughs> That's all I know. And does it really? Does, does the gender really matter? <laughs> That's the thing. Oh, it's Gleam, not Gleam. Gleam, Gleam. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but yeah, he wants to destroy the world. <laughs> Uh, Johnny, have you heard of Final Fantasy VI Beyond Chaos, where you can randomize everything about Final Fantasy VI to the point of starting abilities and equipment? Uh, I've heard of Beyond Chaos. It did not look beyond the title, though. Uh, after this, I'm going to be getting away from mods and all that sort of thing. We're probably playing RPGs as originally designed. Hey, Johnny, you want to play this Mario, Mario RPG? No! <laughs> oh, man. But uh, that track alone is probably my favorite track right now for the entirety of the it's game. It's a great song. Yeah. It is simple with its lyrics and the tempo is actually pretty nice, but mm, that theme. Yeah, it's, oh, just, it's really good. Uh, so Sammy, good. thank you very much for the sub, dude. Wait, wait for what? What theme? Uh, uh, Life Light, the vocal theme for yep. Smash. Yep. Oh. Oh. That. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, seem to be having a hard time yeah. processing it. I mean, it's, do you not it's like okay. it, Jason? <laughs> it's about as okay as the credits theme from Sonic Forces, and by that I mean it's kind of hokey and it comes out of nowhere. And it I like them. it. I like it more than any Forces song. Yeah. Like it ain't fist bump, unless you want to like you know mash the X button, but they ain't do Sonic good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pikachu, we got a fist bump. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> Bam. Together, oh. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Together we can die. <laughs> well, have you listened to the Sonic Forces credits theme? 
I, I haven't have, I haven't listened to any of those music since last year. So I honestly can't honestly God can't tell you. Let that speak for how much I actually remember it. I've only played that game for five hours. Like I literally bought it the day when it came out, played it for five hours, and then took it back to GameStop the same day. I rented it for one night. <laughs> I uh, beat the game twice, and then I beat it a third time to record it. <laughs> And took it back the next day. It's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be an interesting idea. At least I'm getting money for this. Alright, hold on. Let me get an idea how much I'm getting for characters. Alright, everyone's pretty close to leveling up, so there's that at least. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, I mean, but yeah, get cozy, folks, because this is all we're doing. You know, and this is just, uh, for, yeah. this is just one party. You know, because we, we got uh, other characters to do. We're in here for the long haul, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, so how about the new option menu? Am I oh, right? Oh man, is it in Chinese? Uh, I don't know. I prefer German. <laughs> <laughs> but man, Xander's like reach of like doing all those voices is pretty outstanding. <laughs> Finally, smashes in Espanol. But apparently, Espanol. according to some uh, my uh, my followers uh, earlier on the stream, his Dutch accent is terrible. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what's up with the fatal frame? Stuff? I was waiting what? for a jump scare, honestly, with that assist trophy. I don't play fatal frame, but I know fatal frame scares me. <laughs> uh, and I was waiting for a jump scare. It, it's not. You just capture their photos and they are horribly embarrassed and they get damaged. <laughs> I, I think I know um, what happens. Whenever you get no... captured on camera, is when your is your character gets slowed. Because it looks there's like the no... animation. Oh, go ahead. Well, there's no jump scare. It's just teenage girls that are underage getting their clothes wet. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you that's sound like what is this game and working on? You buy sound it. like you speed run this before. <laughs> this is why I don't play the Fatal Frame games. <laughs> By the way, I just want to say, Rip a uh, Fire Cat. He is number sixty-nine. Nice. <laughs> Wait, why Rip? <laughs> I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> what? I'm older than you! <laughs> Good. <laughs> the wrestler is 69. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> some sort of, uh, some sort of grapple hold. <laughs> the tiger that pisses fire is 69, yeah. <laughs> the furry is 60. Did we be afraid of frame only had the original- Yeah, it did have the digital release here in North America. Yeah. Kill this motherfucker. Oh, good. The spear doesn't do anything. This, the Opinicus cares not about the fire lance. It probably means he's just a source of fire. But how about the lance that pierced the side of Christ? Oh, she can give herself haste with that. Okay. Did you already beat? I'm gonna paint to make myself <laughs> faster. <laughs> no Rex or Pyro guys. Man. <laughs> Man, my coworker broke down when he heard about that about Pyra and Mithra or Pyra and Rex, because he is a big uh, Xenoblade Two fan. Rex, Rex is the one that got the me costume, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and he was just like, "Son of a bitch!" Like he basically went in the back and just sat down for a, while for a bit. I'm like, "You okay, dude? <laughs> you okay?" Which, uh, it has um, Ultimate been raided yet? Has yeah, it's probably rated? Yeah, ESRB rated. I would, would say T, but... Yeah, it would have to be at this point, so close to release. So let's say rated T for T. Well, let's check the Smash Bros. website. The only reason why I say this is because it seems like these, um, these assist trophies were done, like, last month. <laughs> right. No, the, the reason why I say this is because the chick from Fatal Frame... Her model is like really bad. Is it the model? Or I, is it? I you know, it's, it's not so much the model oh. for me. It's the animation. Okay, so it, it does have a rating. Okay, uh, so it's E ten. E ten. Well, between that, um, Isaac has no mouth animations. <laughs> well, <laughs> are you really gonna be like, hey, Isaac, cast your face, Isaac? I want to just get really close to your face. Speak <laughs> why, to me those why, words. Why is it, doesn't matter. But if he's 
But if he's going to speak and grunt and have voice acting, you know, you paid for a voice actor. <laughs> then you might as well pay for. I mean, if you look at Guile, he did. Resource clip. I mean, Guile, yeah. But... Guile, his mouth is closed whenever he does that, uh, what's that move called? That one. I can't remember. Yeah, Isaac does look a little like a Kinder Egg toy. So that's 10 elements. Oh, Super Isaac brings up a good point. I mean, they straight up ripped Akira's model from the Saturn. So, <laughs> so maybe it was an artistic decision just like Akira from the Saturn. You ever thought about that, dick? I'm surprised. Oh, man. I hope he, like, does his, like, taunts for the get to. <laughs> Isaac looks like an upscale 3DS model. <laughs> probably is. He probably is, honestly. Just polished. Just a bit. What else was shown during Direct? I forgot. <laughs> uh, menus, man. Menus. The help menu. Uh, How can you forget uh, that part? I don't know. It never really did help me when I needed it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, man. Uh, the NCS Master 316. I might be the only one who thinks this, but fuck Piranha Plant. He doesn't deserve to be here. Oh, yeah, you're probably the only people that think that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, because everybody... I mean, I've been, I, mean I was confused... <laughs> but, you know, it is the Sakurai thing to do. Like, it, it is totally what he would do. He's done it every game. And, I mean, wh I mean what else could you say? I mean, if I, if I had to pick someone out of the, you know, if it had to be another Mario representative, I probably would have picked Hammer Brother and not Piranha Plant. But Piranha Plant is so what the fuck. Because you'd never expect that thing to crawl out of its plant and just start karate chopping the shit out of people. And it has feet, too. It's and it so does weird. have feet. That's how it runs. <laughs> you know, so I, I won't bother wasting my breath saying that it took a slot from Dark Pit. <laughs> you know, so there's, there's no point in me getting uh, uppity about that. It's it's totally a soccer ride thing to do. Peter Piranha should have been an Equifier. <laughs> Equifier who? I don't know. You two? <laughs> I'm about to see if I can cleave a bear. I hope the answer is yes, because I don't need these battles going on longer than... Yeah, I can cleave a bear! But Opinicus, this says fuck all to that man! Why you gotta be so difficult, Opinicus? <laughs> uh... So, how do you like the online feature? Are you talking about, like, the random like, lobbies? Like, all... Like, all... Like, all around. Well, I mean, all around, we still got the private lobbies, and that's fine. That's all I can ask for, because I don't really go. I don't really go online and smash and fight randos. Oh, really? You don't do no. the one v ones? No, like... no. I, I usually fight friends or just associates, so I'm, I, I don't really care about the random thing. I think it's weird. Uh, I think he may be trying a little too hard to, you know, compromise on both ends. But uh, at the end of the day, I, it doesn't really affect me. Yeah. Well, hopefully they will bring like the tournament site, tournament stuff onto the. Uh... A little custom, a little. Uh, excuse me again. Hopefully, they'll bring like the uh, tournament kind of like setup on the online features, so that way they can be like a lot easier. I'm just really glad it's a lot better than uh, Brawl. Hey, Billy. Billy. Oh shit! Oh my damn soundboard's not on. Uh, one second. Yeah. Wait, wait. Billy's in the chat. Yep. Billy. All right, Billy. While you're here, because I, I need, I need, I, I, I need. I need to point in general direction, man, because I, I'm ready for Endgame, dude. I, I could do Kefka's Tower now. I did the Cultist Tower last week. But, like, half of my party is level 18 and everybody else is 30. And I know Kefka's Tower needs everybody, uh, well, most close to everybody, to stand a chance. I need to grind, man. I need grinding spots. I need places for experience, elemental levels, and, well, spell points I can just grind Cactars. But, I don't know, man. Uh, do I, I? I don't. I... Uh, one second here. Easiest grinding spot is in the deserts near Morania. Easiest grinding spots is the deserts near Miranda. Uh, okay. Let me. I'll take a look at that in a second here. Oh, Billy's in the chat. Oh, Billy. <laughs> oh, haven't used that in a while. Used what? Oh, uh, the old Billy sound. Billy. <laughs> Everything there is undead, so Zeon go with a one hit kill on enemies with their mind blow. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, which one was mind blow? For a Brave New World? Mind blow. MP damage, one foe. Oh, okay. Uh. 
Is it right for me to assume that you're never touching Peach and Ryu again because of Daisy and Ken? That's a good, that's a safe assumption, uh, NCS Master. <laughs> so is Smash Brothers getting the Fortnite mode? No. <laughs> I think Kirby already won that. <laughs> Against 100 Master Hands. Okay, no, someone needs no, to post was, a video of... No, this is Miranda, this is not Miranda. Someone needs to post a video of Master Hand doing the default <laughs> dance. I don't know, does he do it with his fingers or he just does the hand gestures? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh Billy, I'm sorry to hear that it hasn't been a good month for you, dude. Whatever, uh... Whatever's been ailing you, I hope, uh, I hope it improves. It's okay, Billy. I'm here for you. We're all here for you. And I think I'm not. I got cancer. Yeah, you got, you, what, you just got straight up cancelled? That's all. <laughs> okay. What the fuck was Miranda in the world of ruin? Uh, was it, uh, the west side? I think he said the eastern. No, he said the desert near Miranda. Oh, the eastern side of Miranda. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think this is Miranda right here. One second. Yeah, here we are. Okay, so it's just... <laughs> oh, wait, this is where you fought Cactuars and, uh, the worms in the original game. Okay. So yeah, I do have to ask, what do you guys think of um, all the various special edition, pre-order edition amiibos being canonical <laughs> to the Smash <laughs> Brothers timeline? I don't know. Uh, I'm getting that young Link amiibo, as uh, well as the PD Piranha. Cool. First. Every single amiibo mod you see online is now canon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> By the way, what's that little yellow stuff that Mario gets coated with? Pink what's gold that Mario. That yellow stuff? No, it's, it's the golden Mario statue. Well, the oh. golden Mario. <laughs> Make them gold. It's called sales. Yeah, you know what? Exactly. You know what? That's probably the true intention of Glean. <laughs> I'm going to make them all gold statues. <laughs> Sakurai just danced all laughing. <laughs> oh yeah, Mario gets carbonated. You think the spirits can be fighters, John? I mean, that's kind of what they already are. Oh, I knew you'd fight Tumbleweed. Well, I can probably cleave these guys, though, too. Sad Dad. Give him the sad dad treatment. The spirits are broken. That's what they are. <laughs> yeah, for everybody that wanted Gino and Smash, sure. Don't mock hey, John, me. I was just watching direct at Elliot. <laughs> Are your screen? spirits broken, Jason? Oh no, they've been broken for years now. This just <laughs> reinforces that. <laughs> it's okay. Here, I have stickers. <laughs> I like snapped in the middle of work today. <laughs> <laughs> that just ruined my entire mood. Whew, at least you didn't get wrote up just for watching the word direct today. <laughs> oh no, I did it during my 15 minute break. Just caught up on it. Uh, I went in super early just for those assholes, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get everything done, get everything done, okay. I even got my boss's permission about that sort of thing. He said, yeah, that's fine. I got everything done. I got the shelves cleaned up. I got the uh, pie bars cleaned up. I got all the boxes out, and we had like an hour before we opened. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch the direct. Put up my phone, and my boss said, be prepared. He tells me to sign this. He said he's gonna write me up for that sort of shit, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> After all that work I did for you today. I made you all those pizzas, dick. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, for me, I got I go through 11 weeks of training right now. And so... The issue is, is that my group, or I guess the entire facility, is like 95% black. <laughs> oh, and the instructors don't know how to deal with that, so they just let the class cut up and cut up and cut up and nothing gets done. And so it got to the point where I just snapped and yelled at everyone <laughs> to get them to shut up. Because I'm like, guys, the instructor is trying to talk. Oh, they're being rude. Okay. Yeah. And that's why I'm not like. And that's, 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 that's yeah. That's the one thing I don't miss about school. It's just like, hey guys, they're trying to help us. We should listen. Uh, okay. School is already bad enough, but when it's work, that's something else. Uh, Ian, yeah. I think Sakurai joking about not knowing when he get a break was secretly a cry for help. 
<laughs> I, I think he wants more arrows, guys. Let's give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? More models. Sucker groom. Yeah, so it turns <laughs> out everybody didn't like the exclusive trophies, so um, put him back in. <laughs> Screams eternally forever. He just turns to his like big old portrait of Waluigi. He was just drawing for like one of the spirits he's gonna have. <laughs> he's like soon, my love. <laughs> uh, Sriracha Jirachi, given the suspect emissary and brawl, do you think Sakurai is bad at making interesting enemy designs? No, I don't think it's making en interesting enemy designs. That's the problem. It's the idea of the subspace emissary would better suit if you pulled in enemies from every single franchise that was being represented. The enemy designs are not the problem. It's just that in a game like Smash Brothers, that is a celebration of Nintendo's history, for you to pull these generic looking enemies in comparison to the other characters in the game is a downgrade in my opinion. It's not so much that the designs are bad, it's just that they're not they're not interesting when you could have pulled from the large pool of enemies from John. every franchise. What's up? What is Smash Brothers? What is Smash Brothers? It's a miserable little pile yes. of secrets. No, 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 no. It's one of the biggest crossover games in all of history. Yes. So, you know, instead of creating original characters, <laughs> why not pull enemies from those various franchises? I mean, it's a lot easier than coming up with new stuff besides Glee. Glee. <laughs> so, like all, those, oh, like all those um, levels in Subspace Emissary. Have like yeah. that. But then have like miniature Metal Gear Rays. Yeah, that's like, oh, I, I could have sworn that's exactly what I just said like two minutes ago. <laughs> well, hey, you no, said Nintendo's no. history, not everyone's history. Okay, well, Jason. all right, semantics, dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jason, Smash you have to ride the Rex. Nintendo. <laughs> you get a pilot and you got a Rex versus Ray battle going on. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the um. It's the Walker Gears from Metal Gear Solid 5. <laughs> <laughs> it's tiny, tiny things. Yeah, I'm just imagining like, Kirby like the back of one of those things. He's walking around going, Point hey, tell him this was a good point. Yeah, Snake Eater was on 3DS on Nintendo console, so fuck you. <laughs> yeah, but you know, oh, those Metal Gear Solid 5 renders aren't from any yeah. Nintendo system. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Kirby. <laughs> Hal uh, Emmerich from the well, Hal Emmerich from MGS4. I'm pretty sure he's not on anything else but the PS3. <laughs> Wait, so what you say, oh. Huey Emmerich, right? <laughs> okay. I said Hal. You said Hal. Well, not because Hal was in Twin Snakes. That was GameCube. <laughs> no, the model that well, the oh, okay, uh, yeah, the model being rendered yeah, that they're yeah, using here. is from MGS4. Yeah, yeah you're this all, just you're in. Right. Snake's Echo Fighter, old Snake. <laughs> no, it should be riding. <laughs> so yeah, was, one last fuck you to Sony Smash Brothers. No, nah, no, it should be old, it should be old Snake. <laughs> Just be slower. No, the old... uh, weak. But he's more agile. No, Solid Snake's uh, alternate costumes should be Raiden and uh, Naked Snake. But his Echo Fighter should be Venom Snake with the Rocket Punch. Yeah. <laughs> rocket Punch, y'all! Swamp Easy, thank you for. Uh, oh, Swamp Easy, is that even Thank you very much, dude. Uh, six months, it's a golden mug. Oh, fuck, I had the wrong thing. Alright, well, hopefully this thing hates it. <laughs> old, old Snake. Yeah, I agree. Void King of Swing. Sonic Link should Oh, yeah, Goku's rocket. getting a Macy's Thanksgiving parade balloon. Wait, what? Yeah. Um, uh, they're making a Goku balloon for the Macy's Thanksgiving parade. You know, I have to ask. Is that from Naruto? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, there's that. And, like, I know Dragon Ball is going through another popularity boom over the last few not years. Not that big of a popularity boom. No, not, boom. not, not that. But that's, this is what I'm getting into. Wouldn't it make more sense if it was during, like, the late 90s, early 2000s, back when Z was huge? You know, I, I, would... I can't help but feel they're a little late to the punch on that. Animes think... for cartoons. Well, animes anime for kids. Animes for cartoons. <laughs> 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 what do cartoons watch? Anime. <laughs> what does watch anime, anime watch? <laughs> Nah, I think uh, the reason why they're doing Goku now is because just the just the resurface of like the popularity of Dragon Ball Z 
with uh, Super and all that. I think the reason why they couldn't do it back when the original Dragon Ball Z was coming out was mainly because of doing licensing issues and nobody didn't know how to contact the people who made these characters. Well, some people in the chat are also bringing up a, uh, an excellent point that uh, anime, anime as a whole wasn't that big, even though Dragon Ball Z was really popular back in the day, but anime as a concept or just a, a, as a medium wasn't that big, except Pokemon, which, which is why I think Pikachu was like one of the first to get a balloon. Yep. Yeah. You know. So yeah, there is, uh, there's definitely that. Uh, Mr. Mommy. Man, yeah, we are just training for Kafka Tower. It's background noise, buddy. Um, so if you, if you want to leave, go right ahead. Cause I want I, Shadow I, to get a balloon. All right, then. Yeah, uh, goodbye, Linky. I want, Sh I want Shadow to get a balloon with guns. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want Shadow? He's want not Silver. in Smash. Heroes cry again. <laughs> <laughs> Obliting every. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot that. I fuck up the lyrics. Man. What? Obliterating <laughs> everything. Obliterating that's everything not that's not your friend. It's the cutscene from the, the World of Light trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so, does this mean we're all Kirby mates <laughs> <Huge> now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I did see that tweet earlier. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> we are all Kirby mates now. <laughs> and by yeah. the way, Kirby is now tier Terminator Band. <laughs> I know my favorite was one of the uh, the tier list images uh, where Kirby is uh, is listed in God, and everyone else is actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the memes this this time around are just amazing. <laughs> yeah, everyone's been firing on all cylinders. I, I love it. Well, Kirby is God tier, and then Sakurai is one above all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Billy ass. Uh, Billy ass. Uh, so seeing this, seeing how he missed the last few sessions, how the few boss fights went, what does Juan do? Yeah. Oh no, no, no. He's he was there for that. He was there for that. Oh. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, we did Magic Master first try. We did Hayden first try. Most of the dragons we did first try. Uh. So th in terms of like getting uh, a strategy down, it was fine. I, but again, it's just the bosses have really big HP pools and fights took forever and Jimbo wouldn't stop hurting and people. Jimbo would oh my god <laughs> Billy I, I mean if you were I mean the clips are probably still there on the archives <laughs> but I'll, I'm never bringing Jimbo again to the cultist tower uh, because well one it was then that it was a pointless gesture because I ended up using uh, warp whistles to avoid all the encounters and two Whenever I would run into the magic pots, who just wanted to give me elixirs, <laughs> Jimbo <laughs> comes in to <laughs> ruin my fucking day. Jimbo here to save. <laughs> Jimbo will protect you. <laughs> oh, Hayden is already flagged. This fight is way too long. <laughs> is that is that its scan entry? <laughs> like when you scan it, is that what it says? Um, no, but here's the thing, uh, Billy. Uh, the Hayden fight wasn't that bad all things considered because i've heard stories of people saying hayden took so long but i i did find a a pretty good strategy but you know it was just a matter of you know just repeating the, the damn thing over and over again that's about it hayden is the one from said Dad's dream right uh no hayden was the uh the, the monster that strago has to find in the cave oh did we, yeah we did it we did it last week we did it last week oh yeah i guess i remember we're trying to talk about something yeah, i couldn't think of anything was uh, mystery man? Was Draco supposed to have more use during that fight outside of stopping one of the goons? Um, I think you were supposed to bait Hayden to use his um, use the ultimate lore for Strago, which I, I don't remember if it was given a different name in Brave New World. Uh, but Hayden ended up never doing that because Strago was pretty much just stopping that one ad because I didn't want to have them all dead. Oh yeah, experiment. There you go. There's the clip. <laughs> if Billy You're a mean one, one. Mr. Grinch. <laughs> Can't uh, believe the Grinch would lie to us all. What do you think about there only being one Sonic rep in Smash? I, just, I mean, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't care. What are you talking about? DCD. You got Tails, you got Knuckles, you yeah. got Shadow. <laughs> yeah, they're in the yeah, game somewhat. They're in but, the um, game, guys. Just if there ever, if there's ever other. If, if there's any another Sonic conclusion at any point, that's great. I'm not losing sleep over it, you know, because I play Sonic games for Sonic. 
And this is Smash, which means we play this with our mains, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> I will say one thing, though. If you include the DLC character of the Piranha Plant, it makes the roster look uneven again. <laughs> So oh, yeah. we have space for three more DLC characters. Uh, one second. It says I'm dropping to make frames. it an even board again. Okay, there we go. One second. It says I'm dropping frames. I'm not sure if this is just a spike going on at the moment, or uh, if this is be consistent. Uh, let's give it. Oh yeah, it's climbing up. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I'm starting to drop frames. Interesting. Smash Brothers has killed Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to cool off somehow. Johnny's plugging it up with all these viewers. <laughs> uh, let me see. I mean, well, there's nothing I like, I'm, I'm checking my um my internet connection to make sure it's not, like, uh, yellow. And uh, it seems fine. I think I'm getting a spike. That's what it is. I might be getting a spike. How all many right, let's switch over flashy. to uh, trickmyinternet.com and let's just check the ping. <laughs> Can you do that? I mean, let me look at that real quick. Frames are dropping. It seems to have stopped, but uh, I'll give it like a few more seconds before uh, we resume. I mean, it's I'm fucking grinding. You guys are not missing anything. <laughs> it's all about the voice. Oh uh, yeah. Celine's chewing the cables again. Oh no! Thankfully, she got past her chewing cable phase for now. I say for now because she'll probably get back into it soon. And now she's chewing on my foot. Okay, I think we should be good by now, because the number hasn't spiked for a good 30 seconds, so I'm going to say it's all good now. Have you tried turning your internet on and off with you? Have you tried turning it off? How do you turn the internet off? You unplug it. No, I'm talking about just the internet you in unplug. general. <laughs> it's not a sentient Please. being at this point. It's still running on a machine. You just unplug the internet. <laughs> It's, it runs off one power outlet. <laughs> well, Jason. I go to my computer and I hit the disconnect button after searching for your account. Jason. I can do this now. <laughs> Since Fanatic's Tower is meant to be the last thing you do before Capricorn's Tower, I tune the enemies there to match. Uh, I figured as much, but again, I used the warp whistles in pretty much every encounter. Because I, I did not want to be bothered. Because one thing, the enemies were really fucking fast, and they hit really hard, and I was just burnt out at that point. And honestly, in Vanilla 6, I ignore Cultist Tower 2 with Moogle Charm, so I was just paying tribute to my old playing days. <laughs> okay, Linky, you joke about that, but Metal Gear Solid 5 was never that complicated. <laughs> with, like, any maneuver whatsoever. I know, it was just hilarious, especially with the, with the Spirits logo, the Spirits icon. <laughs> That's like MGS3 levels of complicated. Uh, let's see, uh, Dragoon Heroes EX, will you be doing Smash matches with fans? I wanted to ask because I haven't played Smash 7 to you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be, we're, we're likely gonna have one more Smash 4 sub night, uh, in November. And then when Ultimate comes out, we're gonna have a few sub nights dedicated to that. After I go ahead and lock all the characters. Well, are you going to do a stream day one? Uh, likely not. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to jump on that bandwagon. I want the game for myself, and um, I want to unlock all my characters first. So when are you getting that review copy? Yeah, <laughs> uh, likely never. Cause, you uh, say that. What? But then Dude, you get I one for Wii U? I rarely get uh, Nintendo review copies. The Smash 4 one, from, uh, from when that was released, that was a that was the honest to god luck, dude. I have not gotten like a review code since then, I think. From Nintendo specifically? Eh, there's <laughs> always a chance. There's always a chance, but that chance, you know, you know, 0.1% is a chance, technically speaking. <laughs> it's still abysmally low. Yeah. <laughs> you still got your play buttons now, which gives you more <laughs> notoriety. I got it. And plus, Nintendo can be like, this guy, he makes hour-long Sonic reviews. Yeah. He'll be cheap. <laughs> Think of all the revenue. Also He'll experiment. Cheap buyout. <laughs> also experiment. If I break Smash Ultimate on the day that I get it, I'll be a freaking amazed by that. <laughs> we can put like six ads on his video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seven if we get really lucky, take me alive. No, Johnny, you can do seven if you stretch out the uh, option. <laughs> options.
Man, what I really wish 2B was in Smash as well. <laughs> 2B? <laughs> From yeah. Deer? Yeah. Why her specifically? Dude, she has so many different options in her You just want to see her ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just want to see her not. ass. <laughs> If I if I wanted that, I just boot up the game. Yeah, I was gonna boot up the game where you know this, that's what Pornhub is for. Oh crap! Uh, I gotta you don't go. even need I Pornhub. Have... But you just do a basic Google image search. <laughs> you know what? Right now. Is everywhere. You know what? I'm gonna do that. You literally all you have to do is boot up the game because there is a specific button in the game for that. <laughs> oh, the uh, carry yourself button. No, the self destruct button. Which removes that's, that's your skirt. What he, that's what he just said. <laughs> that's what I just said. <laughs> I'm tired, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, you dumbass. It's the blow up button. Oh, the blow up button? <laughs> How long have you oh, been uh, I've been running off of two hours of sleep. Oh, you too? Uh, Billy, yes. oh, fair warning. When, on the next, when, when working on the next update, I found a bug in Inferno script that makes him... Have a lot more HP than he's supposed to, so that fight will drag on longer than it needs to. Oh man. An enemy that has way more HP than he's supposed to, on top of having more HP than he's supposed to in Brave New World. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that's not good. Uh, well, thank, okay, um, do you any idea what triggers the bug at all, Billy? Because I would really not want to replicate that. Uh, Inferno is one of the bosses in Kafka's Tower. Uh, Mr. Oh, Man. okay. Wait, did we already kill him? No, oh, wait, no, no. Well, he's well. well the, the, the sprite is based off like the number, uh, the number one twenty eight in the uh, the minecart sequence. Uh. <laughs> Alright, Shade, you have no excuse to like not be sleeping. Oh, it's simple math errors. I multiply the base HP pool one, one too many times. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I was reading my comic book when I was hitting the, the multiplier button. <laughs> and, that one, and, one, I went too, and I went too far. <laughs> one, zero, 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 zero. <laughs> what comes after zero? Eh, oh, zero. No, that, <laughs> that reminds me of my previous job with the district manager. A, uh... We had someone from another store training at ours, and he forgot to punch in. And a week had already gone by, so only the district manager could, you know, give him that pay. And so, he missed 8 hours, the DM accidentally put in 88 hours. No. <laughs> was it a magnificent check? Yes, yes it was, and he had to give it back, <laughs> like, oh. immediately. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hope they don't catch those errors, but what can you do? Yeah. I was going to say, if that was Juan, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I just... Today I learned something new with my uh, new job. Oh, what's that? I hate it. For holidays. <laughs> well, yeah, already. <laughs> but uh, on holidays, we get double time and a half. Double time and a half? Yeah. Hey, that's really good, man. That's a big fucking check. Yep. So if you're working 10 hours, you get paid 25. Oh, hell well, yeah. Well, if, if you get paid $10, you get paid 25. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, here, I'll catch another for the bits. Just thought about this, but this is a game where you look... But this, this is their game... Okay. Is there a <laughs> game you really like despite controls either being mediocre or having a steep learning curve? A game I really like... Despite being either mediocre or having a steep learning curve. Uh. Hmm. Kid, Kid Icarus Uprising, that's for well, sure. Well, no, because. <laughs> I don't think Kid Icarus Uprising is hard, I just don't like the control scheme. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not a hard game, the controls no, just suck. The controls just, <laughs> just suck. Um, mediocre game that I like that's mediocre. Uh. Sonic 06? No, Sonic 06 is bad. It's a it, Sonic 06 is a bad game that I could enjoy in some regard, but uh, not <laughs> mediocre. Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, what? <laughs> nah, controls ain't that bad. <laughs> Stop trying to trigger the audience. <laughs> but um, God, I'm trying to think. Oh wait, she hit this one. <laughs> Fuck! I just realized that happened. Yeah, it's it has to be a Sonic game. It has to be a Sonic game. It has to be a Sonic game, probably... 
one that I like is, but it's mediocre. Sonic Heroes, Sonic's... Well, no, Amy side only. I guess that would technically count. No, Silver Striker. Sonic Boom is just bad, dude. What about Sonic and the Black Knight? Sonic and the Black Knight sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's a mediocre romp. Nah, it sucks, dude. <laughs> I mean, it has good music. It has good music, yeah, but you know, you don't need to play the game to listen to the music. I can just pop up a YouTube video for that. But you get all hill shadow. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, God, it's just really hard to think about because I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of games that I enjoy but are just mediocre. Oh, I know exactly which one then. Uh, Sonic. And say get all stars racing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> Banjo stuff. Just boy. Sonic in general. <laughs> what did you post with the I chat? I love how. His... <laughs> I love how his name is the biggest thing on there. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get everybody up to 28, and then we're gonna switch these characters. Might keep. Uh, sad dad in the party because he can one shot everything. All my friends oh, are wait. dead. Da, 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 yeah, da, da, da. you're right. In the second Sonic uh, racing game, they actually got rid of the Sega part, so it's just Sonic. Yeah, <laughs> Sonic and All Stars Racing. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't be good, now. we can at least be honest. Trigger can also one hit kill these things with X Zone. Oh, good, because I have X Zone. Um, and I'm close to a town, so I can always just rest up. So, yeah, I'm definitely probably going to be having my team of uh, my low levels here, just so we can get everybody up to snuff. Oh my god, I love these memes. <laughs> oh man, the, the, meme, Sonic... the meme game is on fire. I know. The Sonic brand is so dirty, but it sells so well that it overshadows the rest <laughs> of Sega. <laughs> <laughs> So we get top billing. Hey, you'll scare him. Thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime subscription. You, you know what? That is going to be strong, Dad, <laughs> by the end of this. <laughs> uh, well, you guys actually want to talk about another game that just got released, or a beta that got released. Uh, what? The. Delta game? Oh, Delta Rune. Yeah, that one. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you want to talk about like it? Or to, do you I would like to discuss it, but I don't know if anybody here is haven't played it yet. What is it? Delta, Delta Rune. Rune. Uh, what is it? The not under uh, the Undertale. Not Undertale. <laughs> the, the well, I mean. Oh, that thing that Toby Fox made this year. Yeah. I've not tried it at all yet. Really? You have not at all? Okay. That's surprising. It's free. Well, I've been at work, and yeah. if I'm not at work, I'm asleep. <laughs> or you want to play it in your sleep, then? Uh, Silver Striker, probably not best to talk about it if it's anything like Undertale. Well, no, that. No, I, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about right. something I like or something that I'm interested in. I'll talk about I don't give a fuck about the fan base. But, and um, if I'm not, well, if I'm not attempting to sleep, I'm watching anime. <laughs> Experiment, why would you go right into the debug of that game? Which is like straight up for Why don't you just play the because game? It's an experiment! That's what he does! I guess that's true. And he, well, hold on, Experiment probably played the game first and then ripped it apart. He did it in half an hour! <laughs> you can't get to that demo in half an hour unless you just <laughs> watch through everything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. All right, so I'm assuming. All right, so I, I would like to talk about Delta Room. Uh, I don't know if anybody in the chat has not uh, played it or they're holding off on it. Well, you shouldn't because you should have played it by now. Uh, Mr. King Jacob, I was surprised by how long it was too for what looks to be a demo. Or well, Undertale, same way. Was it the same? It. Okay, I didn't jump on the Undertale demo when it was first released. All right, sad dad, just the only one. Oh. And to answer chat of what show I've been watching lately, it is. Da, 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 da. Let's see if I can get the name. All right. Oh, in shade. English. Uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, Jason. 
Uh, Shade, the 24-hour down period is over, so you're good there. Shade, I don't mean to sound like an asshole, but I didn't give a shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I understand that... I understand that you have a lot of faith in the people for them to not talk about the game for 24 hours, but it's like... I feel there's a part of me that thinks, you know, you're just inviting your fans to attack people for just talking Johnny. about the game in some fashion because they broke Johnny. your 24 hour. I'm talking, Jason, because they Quiet broke or your, I'll DMCA you. <laughs> because they broke your, your self-imposed 24 hour embargo. Dude, to me, that would just invite the most dickheaded fans to attack people who probably, honest to God, didn't know about that. You know, that's the way I feel about that sort of thing. So, I didn't give a shit about that. Did people talk about at, it? Fuck it. Let them talk about it. At least, he's giving them 24 hours. Because it could have been worse. I'm not he saying... Have said never. Uh, he could have said never and pull an atlas with Persona 5 uh, where you can't go past a certain part of the story. Uh, Sammy, uh, Dear Z, blaming someone for their fans' action is a bit eh. It's not, it's not blaming him for what happened. It's like, it's foolish to think everybody would follow the self-imposed 24-hour embargo. I, I, I just got it. It's straight up foolish to think that people will really not talk. I mean, but maybe that's a joke. Maybe, you know, because Toby does that. Uh, maybe that's a joke. He probably wouldn't expect anybody to keep their mouth shut. But it's like, if you do something like that, you, you, you're going to get those uh, folks. You're going to get those folks that are going to just attack people that because they they love Undertale that much. Or they really admire and respect Toby Fox a whole deal. I, I just, well, that's honest to God what I think. Well, if they admire and respect him, then they would respect. <laughs> yeah, I know, but some people don't people. get that. Some some dickheads don't get that. Did you know that Sans is in Undertale? His last name is Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> Sans break the Undertale. <laughs> Undertale. You mean without Undertale? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deltarune. That said, though, Delta Rune is is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Go play it. Is it yeah, you want to talk about anything else? No, it's like, good. <laughs> if you if you played Undertale before uh, playing it, well, I'm assuming you have because they are related. That the game is eerie as hell. Like there is just something off about the entire feel of the game. The soundtrack is fantastic. <laughs> like, I'm probably gonna. Uh, I think it's it was just released. Like the uh, for, yes, the uh, it's actually one. a pain cap. I it's a, it's in Bandcamp? Okay, I'm going to have to buy that when we're all done here. Because the soundtrack I think it's is... free. Let me double So it's like if Alphys' lab was uh, an entire demo? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean the true lab, by the way. Um... Uh, so people were asking about the uh, the Bandcamp. Like, you want to post it in the Twitch chat? Uh, I'm looking for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should it just be under Toby Fox's Bandcamp account? Oh, it's oh yeah, it's all under Toby. God, uh, Toby. Yeah, you mean oh, Toby? Oh, Toby. <laughs> Toby Fox because Bandcamp. he does other songs as well. I know. I just forget about that. <laughs> Santiago, I know exactly what you're referencing, and I was literally dying for like a good minute when that happened. Like that legitimately made me crack up. <laughs> there you go. Man, I'll post it in Discord too. Go but, support uh, the artist. <laughs> what I was gonna say is, at least he's not being like Atlas. Uh, how so? You'd never heard about what happened with Persona Five? Uh, are you talking about the the content ID Atlas stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. Didn't they get like copyright check on their own video? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. they went and well, they put out an embargo on any sort of media for it, and that embargo still hasn't been lifted yet. Content ID past 7 7. Uh, Billy, it's... hold on a second. If Brave New World doesn't have the intended effect on people without me needing to point it out, then that's on me. To a degree, dude. I mean, you probably already know this, but there, there are some things that just click faster with people than others don't. And I, I don't think that's a fault of the game. Sometimes it could totally be on the player's fault. 
You know, cause I love RPGs, I do. But sometimes it, it takes a bit for me to realize, hey, maybe you should stop using fire magic on the fire demon. <laughs> you know? But, uh... It, it, it can't entirely be on the game. Like, sometimes... Uh, people just have to stop. To me, my biggest problem with Brave New World, as I've said many, many times throughout every session, is that I've played the original too many times. i played the original too many times. I keep thinking I can do original things, and I can't, and it doesn't want to click with me. Now, when I adjust, I can get through just fine, but it takes a <laughs> while to adjust. <laughs> Speaking of the doom, it's like me a doom. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, once you get to a certain part of Persona 4, well, Persona 5, you can't stream or do any videos of it. If you're using the built-in recording, I'd imagine, for the PS4. No, Atlas still hunts you down. Oh, well, oh, fuck Atlas. Nice. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This, that thing is still active? Like they're still hunting down people. Yeah, to that's. This I mean, that, that well, the, the, yeah. that kind of shit never goes away. Before it was just any any part of the game, but now it's once you get up to like I think May or July or something like that. How many years has it been? It's about just months. one or two. Well, yeah, it's been two, I think. Yeah, I better say that. I think it's people know it's the end of that game <laughs> by this point. You know what? We should play Persona 5, Johnny. <laughs> to, I, Shade, I, I ain't touching Persona 5 until I touch Persona 3 or 4. So, And I'm not touching Homestuck. Not to Ever. <laughs> <laughs> where, the hell, where did that come from? Uh, Shade was like, Shade. Yeah. No. Learn Homestuck. Oh, wait, hold on. What, what, Alright, so I don't know anything about Homestuck. I just know that people still cosplay it to this day. Uh... Hold on, let me read the bit. Uh, they aren't. It's Tucker Sun is over halfway through the game, like August number, and hasn't gotten hit by Atlas with it. They left that embargo a while ago, man. Or they just got lucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, you know. So <laughs> Damn, <they're... laughs> what is Homestuck? Like, is it's a webcomic. It's, it's a webcomic, okay. That went too far. What do you mean? It exploded into other media, just like Undertale. Would particularly it, it grow too media. big for its britches sort of thing? Sort of thing, way. or is it... The... Okay, I, I understand what you're getting at, but it's... Huh. I, I, then it has to have maybe oh. either died down since, or it, it's its audience is really niche, because I don't really hear anything about it. I just see people cosplay as Homestuck, but I never get anything else out of uh, Yeah, like, like think of Undertale's boom and all the fan media that came from it. That's what happened to Homestuck, but over the course of several years. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it stayed that, like, concentrated over those years. Is it still, like, relatively big? I think they're making a game for it right now. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I, that I think it's been in development for quite some time. I think they're, like... I think it's supposed to be episodic or something. Shade could tell you, because she's a weeb. Yeah, Shade. <laughs> tell us you weeb. <laughs> All right, uh, that's as far as I'm going to go with these characters. Let me take a look at their uh, elemental levels one more time. Oh, yeah, we're playing the game. <laughs> Before I, I gotta gotta swap these characters four. out. Yeah, we, got, we took care of, uh, we took care of uh, four characters. All right, so we're about a third done. <laughs> uh, we should get yeah, one more set I'll go, to go. I'll go half and half. Oh yeah, Santiago, I love Shade as much as the next friend, but I'll throw her under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have at one point. I don't hear a no. <laughs> the game is called Hive Swap Gordon and Prankster. I think that's like the in-game, like, the in-game game that they're playing. <laughs> Homestuck is a webcomic that finally ended last year. There is I first saw a game called High Swap that that's a sequel to Homestuck, currently been worked on. Act one of High Swap is out, Act Two is being worked on. I live under a bus, jokes on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ben. Uh, I believe that's Ben Babalu uh, Babalu Khan in the chat. 
The Great Babadook. But no, but not Babadook, no. That's, that's Baba Luke Khan. Who's Ben? Oh, Ben. Ben, ben Wade. Ah, uh, Babalu Shakan. Babalu Shakan, yeah. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. Oh, that's uh, no, not, to, not, not extra light Ben Talamits. Uh, ben was my RA in Teal College. That was, that was 2005, 2006. Holy shit. Wow, Billy, that's a lot of changes. That's a lot of changes. <laughs> oh, man. I'm tempted to pull that list up. I'll push That's it. a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Also, control V. Control V. Control V. There we go. That's impressive. <laughs> what was that from, by the way? What? Fable. Oh, Fable. Oh, right. Where you're oh, just goes. yeah. <laughs> That's impressive. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> You managed to do so good in a game. You managed to beat all the bosses one try. That's impressive. <laughs> do 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 do. A new quest card is available. I wonder what the voice direction of that game was. <laughs> yes, I need you to be surprised. Is this my surprise voice? Calm it down. Calm it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's this? Hey, Jack Foster, thank you for the description. Already three months. I can't believe it. How goes it, Johnny? I am. Uh, grinding. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much all I can say at this point. Oh. Yeah. Man, all I remember it was from Fable was chickens, quest cards, and Polly. Who's Polly? You don't want to remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, how can I remember something I don't know? Yeah, they feel like a 9,000 year old remember. prostitute. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> Is she paid out well? Oh, I think. She paid out was, best. Yeah, it paid out best. I think that's why Matt kept sleeping with her. <laughs> I may I may have to go back and rewatch that series again. <laughs> I was working one day back at back when I was at Dollar General and I had the uh, the Fable playlist downloaded. And once we got to, once you got to the Poly stuff, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I need to take a break real quick. <laughs> I need a break from our break. <laughs> Fable of the chicken. Yeah, I do know that uh, Matt would basically went with a chicken costume. I just realized the yeah, worst spell says go to World 9. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it says go to World 9. Polly was an elderly prostitute who was cheap <laughs> who's the cheapest one at the brothel. Oh, no. It's time for a chicken kicking competition. Go oh, dog or hurry that brake, so I put put some more brakes on your brakes. Wait, wait, so you just put an brakes. accelerator down? <laughs> I was like, wait, what did you say? Yo, dog or hurry you like brakes, so I put some brakes on your brakes. Ah, yes, the accelerator. <laughs> One will actually do something. Yo, Billy. Billy. If we're being real here, just leave just leave one as it is. Just leave one as it is. Let the next person who played this game just figure out what this one do. It's gotta be that thing. It's gotta be that one thing you keep in every game. That's just leave one. <laughs> oh, he said he's gonna be changing one, but I'm telling him not to do it. Just, yeah. just leave it as it is. <laughs> leave it as it is. <laughs> Anytime you use wand, all it says is, what does wand do? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I think we should hold another pass. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to answer that whole anime crap. The anime that I've been watching is... Rascal does not dream of bunny girl sim. Rascal and if you can't get what? Wait, hold on a second. You kind of cut off at the end of that. What'd you say? Rascal does not dream of bunny girl senpai. That's the entire Are you watching porn? porn thing. Yeah, is that, is that and if porn? that name is long, that's because it's based off a of light novel. Oh. oh. Who writes a novel of a title of that long? Dude. That's Japan in a nutshell with its like naming schemes for light novels and visual novels. Ah yes, I should name this book the time that I went to Japan and found nothing that I value there. Bye. <laughs> They're full paragraphs at some points. Full paragraph title. Yes. Is that such a thing? <laughs> I don't believe you. You know what? I'm gonna go there real quick. <laughs> 
to our motto, boy, it's time for random characters they haven't used since before the apocalypse. No, I mean, I used everybody technically at once. Oh my god! Tilt at night of the day of the dawn of the sun of the bridge of the bride of the t of the return of the revenge. Oh my god, of the stop! <laughs> That's the title of this book! <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck was that? Yeah, okay, I, I, you know what? I'm just gonna copy paste. I said I'm gonna copy paste. Okay, here's here's a title. I defeated slimes for 300 years, and before I knew it, my levels were maxed out. I've been killing slimes for 300 years. <laughs> there you go. Try pronouncing that. All right. Titled "Night of the Day of the Dawn of the Sun of the Bride of the Return of the Revenge of the Terror of the Attack of the Evil Mutant Hellbound Flesh Eating Crawling Alien Zombified Subhumanoid Living Dead Part Five. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. It was like the first thing that popped up on Google. <laughs> <laughs> Riker Gaming. Sounds legit. Japanese porn titles are super long. A friend told me. <laughs> <laughs> or like this title. Sew it up, take it off, change. My girlfriend failed hi her high school debut and became a hikamori, so I decided to coordinate her youth. <laughs> <laughs> Just like why? <laughs> why are these titles so long? <laughs> I don't know. What are these haikus? <laughs> no, these are titles. <laughs> per crush. Okay, we need. <laughs> we need a quick plot synopsis. The writer gives you one. Okay, now we need a title. Can't we just use the plot synopsis as the title? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Alright, just as once, though. That was four hits. Oh, there's a, Guinness, there's a Guinness World Record for the longest title name. Oh, uh, what is it? It's a Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to find it. Longest title of a film nominated for an Oscar. Those magnificent men and their flying machines, or how I flew from London to Paris in 20, 25 hours, 11 minutes. Oh, that'd be more funnier than that. <laughs> I think I've actually heard of that one. <laughs> song is playing. Oh, it's just zero. We're gonna make it zero. That was the longest movie title since Mystery Man. Okay, Legend of Daniel, do you have any advice for first getting into Vanilla 6? I've been trying to get into it for a few months, but I haven't gotten too far. Huh. You for Final Fantasy 6, specifically? Uh... I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna coast by pretty easily in the world of balance, and you keep Edgar and Saban in your party. Uh, because Edgar's tools are pretty disgusting. And Saban's blitzes, I mean, once you uh, know how to use them properly, you know, they're really good for taking care of a lot of enemies at once. Um, but I will say that if... If you can't get up to where you get Magisite, then maybe the game just isn't for you. Wait, what game? Uh, vanilla Final Fantasy VI. No. The longest title for a fighting It doesn't take much to break the game, though, uh, Daniel. Uh, so if you want to, like, look that up, then you're probably better off doing that, just for the sake of progression. But, um... If it's not very interesting to you, then you, you're probably better off playing something else. Experiment? I know you're telling the truth. But I'm not gonna try to pronounce that name. What is it? That bit. <laughs> I will read. Oh wow. That is an actual tile. Landfair. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. Long as <laughs> I will raise you later. Ah yes, I like low. <laughs> I'm a scat man. It's 
for the level. <laughs> oh my gosh. Punished Urruses. Have you heard of I want to eat your pancreas? Mmm, <laughs> liver. <laughs> There is a famous clip of a news reporter pronouncing that town name first try. Either he rehearsed it and he's lying, <laughs> or yeah, that is literally God. We found God, guys. It's the news anchor. <laughs> uh, By the way, for the bits. can I give you an air hug for suffering through command mission? That game was my gateway RPG, and I have a soft spot for it, but it sucks ass in boss design. A boss which I hate is not only the sand boss, but the fire boss, because they summon enemies that not only deal damage, but heals them, which is so bullshit. The nicest boss was the hot boot bird PS Emily. <laughs> uh, are you talking about Botos, the one that has this little cherub angels that Botos. heal uh, heal him for like 10k? Yeah, because he was a piece of shit. That battle wasn't even hard; it was just long. By the way, Jason, I just want to say right there, a post in Discord is basically half of that title for a book. Oh no. That's not good. That's basically half of the title right there. That's a, it brings up an interesting question, though, for the chat. Uh, what were your gateway RPGs? Like, What was your first that got you into the genre? Final Fantasy IX. Final, Final, Final Fantasy IX for you? Uh, what about you, uh, Linky? Did you just say what I thought you said? Repeat that. <laughs> Repeat that, motherfucker. Confirm what I said. What I thought. No, I didn't say it. <laughs> nah, Final Fantasy missed the quest. No, <laughs> like the... <laughs> no, go ahead, go, so, go ahead. The real, like, real uh, RPG game that I used to play as a kid a lot was Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, you cut off at the end of there. It could be any Final Fantasy. Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy I'm going one. To say eight. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, uh, Final Fantasy, the first one. Okay. Uh, what version of the game? The NES. NES. Oh my God, I, I think would it be. Uh, yeah. PS1. Yeah. Uh, I actually played it at a really young age, or like two to three, because my. Uh, grandmother she had an nes and the super nes the, or he, she just had an nes at the time and the only games that she had on her on that thing was final fantasy one uh super mario brothers with dunk hunt and one other game i could not remember and i would just play final fantasy one but i've been familiar with final fantasy since the first one uh but my first was four uh four was my first rpg that i ever played and i the rest is history honestly I have so many memories of 4 that whenever I get to eventually reviewing it, that it's just going to be nothing but like a 30 minute long biased opinion. <laughs> uh, Spartan Mana, Pokemon counts, Pokemon... Uh, Pokemon is an RPG, so I don't know why it wouldn't count. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon Red. For actual RPGs, Final Fantasy X, bought from, a, bought from a friend of my sister's, was returned before I beat it. Uh, 10's pretty simple, yeah. It could be a good first RPG. I still be at the play ten, but I'm gonna wait till really? like the uh, switch. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the switch version. So I'm gonna play that shit on the go. Flabby Burn was my first RPG. <laughs> so it's Jonathan. <laughs> Legend of Dragoon. Holy fuck! I haven't heard that name in a long time. I've only put the demo of that years, years, years ago. Close to close to twenty, actually. Well, no, 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 because um. No, I played that game you... around the same time I played Brave Friends. I played the demo of Legend of Dragoon the first time I played Brave Friends of Musashi, and that was in the late 90s, early 2000s. So around that time. Not exactly 20 years ago, but close to it. I don't remember much of the game, though, so... Oh, God, Shadow's Dead. Oh, yeah, speaking of, like, demos, did you guys hear about the uh, medieval coming to uh, HD now? Oh, the, uh, the PS4 remake. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, yeah. I, I still have not played the original. I've only watched Matt play it on SGB. But, uh, you know, it, it looks great. It's pretty much what you can ask for if you're a fan of the original. Yeah, I've only played the uh, Pizza Hut demo disc of that game. <laughs> 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 I'm not even lying. That's like the only time I ever played that game. Because at the time, I couldn't see anything because the TV at the time was pretty dark. And it was just like, how do I see? <laughs> Uh, the camera looks a little more pulled in, screens. but I'm happy. Uh, Ten Elements, that might just be the developers, like, purposely pulling in the camera because maybe that's how the player plays the game. Because I, I agree, I do like my camera a little pulled out so I can see more.
pizza. I hate my life so much. Uh, Johnny, was there a demo disc that ever fucked up and gave you the full game? Like back in like PS1 Underground sampler days? No? Yeah, because the Kimami. Uh, what was that? <laughs> I'm joking. It, oh no, I, 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 games, I honestly but... I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> One of the Yakuza games for the PS4, they put oh, yeah, out a demo. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. The full game, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Fonzie got that game. Fonzie he played it right on that shit, and then he, he literally for like two weeks. <laughs> he literally DM'd me and said, "Dude, download this right now. We need to play it." And like, why? You can play the full game right now. I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Uh, but no, uh, old demos that gave you the full game, no, not really. I don't think there's ever a case about that sort of thing, because developers are pretty adamant on giving you only a sample of the game. And I don't think cracking ISOs was easy back then as it is nowadays. Or well, maybe it was, I don't know, I'm not a tech guy. Maybe we can ask Experiment. Yeah, Experiment, if you're still here, if you're not falling, if you didn't fall asleep already. <laughs> Preload the full game, but you'll be locked out of the Crash yeah. Bash demo apparently had the full thing. Oh, wow. Crash Bash. That's... That's the Crash Bandicoot Party. Ah, the Mario Party. The first Crash. One, yeah. There's another one? There's a... Crash Boom Bang, I think, was another party game. Uh, am I forgetting anything else? I think the chat will probably know. Oh, my God. I am so mad right now. What? Hi. I got this Wolf Link amiibo and I can't even edit it. Because there's no Twilight Princess save on it. Oh. Oh. Well, and there, I don't own a brick. There is a way to you to erase the data on the amiibo. Yeah, but there needs to be a Twilight Princess save on the amiibo. Oh. So let's get Twilight Princess. I uh, don't ex- own a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Experiment says it's pretty easy. A PS1 disc is just a standard CD. If you have a decent enough DCD drive with a burner, you can just easily rip them off. Mm. See, my only experience of uh, ripping uh, ISOs, or at least burning ISOs, with Dreamcast because that was pathetically easy to do. That even a dumbass like me can do it. So, how many games did you pirate, Johnny? <sighs> Sonic Adventure, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, three King of Fighter games, I believe. Uh, what else did I burn? You're supposed to die and be like, I ain't a pirate. <laughs> I ain't a pirate. Yar, what is a pirate? <laughs> uh, there were a couple of games I burned. Not much, because I only had so many CDs, and I was, uh, I was, a, I was a young high schooler. Yeah, I was about to say a that. young lad. Well, that's because some dumbass at Sega left a backdoor into the system with the M- MIL CD support. <laughs> Johnny was a naughty boy. Yeah, I was kind of a piece of <laughs> shit. Back. I think we day. all were at one time. Back up. Oh, my elementary school days, especially. I was a. I was an asshole. Yeah, Johnny used to bully me around a lot. No, I, was, I was never a bully. <laughs> I was never a bully, but I was a jerk. Uh, and Johnny was very naughty. <laughs> I hate Twilight Princess so much. Oh come on, Twilight! Oh, okay, right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was about to say there, Twilight Princess is actually for the good game. <laughs> A little long in the show, but I agree. Well, it's just the intro of the game. Let's lock this feature behind an amiibo. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But let's lock the amiibo stats behind a completely different game on another console. Uh, Ruvan, I blame that god dang wrestling, John. Uh, actually, it's funny, I, I, I was not really a big wrestling fan until the Attitude Era, and I was late 90s. I wasn't already in middle school uh, at that point. It's funny, because I, I have really early memories of watching WWF programming when I was really young, when I used to spend the nights with my, my aunt and my cousins. But uh, that wasn't enough to get me excited for it. Uh, but the Attitude Era stuff in the late 90s was my first dig into it, and that's what made me a wrestling fan. Arkansas Avalanche It's pronounced Bluff. Arkansas. Arkansas? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, there's a W at the end. <laughs> I love yeah. that video so much. Oh, no. Uh, Shay just sent me a whole list of like uh, names for Wisconsin. 
Again, I'm from the south, so I'm probably gonna butcher all of these. <laughs> Avalanche, bluff, bluff siding, Boston, Cleghorn, Dairyland, Disco, Dude, and Barris. <laughs> That's what I'm reading. Uh, uh, maybe some of these are fake, man. <laughs> she might be fucking with you. Uh, I don't you know. The these like you got was it yeah, on I... Discord? Yeah, it's on the Discord. Or, put it on Twitch no, chat. Put it on, just... yeah, on, on Twitch chat. It's not helping that I'm listening to Japanese people singing about a giant tiger guy. <laughs> a giant tiger guy? Byaku. <laughs> oh, okay. Byaku. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Boss Town. Yeah. Uh, yes, go, Arkansas, yes, go now. Avalanche, Bluff Sidon, Boss Town, Clayhorn, Dairyland, Disco, Embarrass, Fence, Gotham, <laughs> Footmill, <laughs> Institute, uh, Ix, uh, Ixonia? Uh, Ixonia, maybe. King, just just King. <laughs> Luck, <laughs> Mississippi, Okonoma Walk, Perdeville, oh. Random Lake, Rule, <laughs> Sheepoy Random Hand, Lake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Chidon, Tichigan, it's not Michigan, <laughs> it's Tichigan. <laughs> Michigan was taken. <laughs> Wayuwega, <laughs> and Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun pronouncing no, these. <laughs> Exodia. Forbidden. No, that's Exodia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a town a called Michigan's Manly, <laughs> according to N N uh, NCS Master. Pokemon Someone Master says there is a hun hump tulips in Washington. We have Slaughter Beach. In, uh, in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. We, we have a slaughter beach. Uh, how's the weather around that time? <laughs> uh, it's a killer. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Did you know that there is a Miracle Whip, Florida? The, the, <laughs> wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I just promised there, that now. There is a Miracle Whip, Florida. <laughs> is it as good as Mayo, reason... Florida? No, the reason why is because it was originally called Mayo, Florida. And then, uh, what you call it, either Hunts or Haynes went and paid them like $25,000 <laughs> to uh, change the name to Miracle Whip for a short period of time. <laughs> was, that, was that a marketing boy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> change it to Miracle Whip. Hey, Mayo, you take our name and we give you some money. <laughs> Capiche? <laughs> Hundred Wisconsin days. Yeah, if I didn't pronounce any of those right, that's fine. Uh, according to shit, I got Winnebago right because Winnebago is the name of a fucking vehicle. <laughs> and no, that's Winnebago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best town in Wisconsin, Spread Eagle. <laughs> oh, it's easy to enter. <laughs> <laughs> From the forward or back. Manly is actually where Vince McMahon was born. Holy fuck, that explains so much. Winnebago reminds me of Spaceballs. Vince McMahon <laughs> likes big sweaty men. Next to the glory hole theme park. <laughs> Beard is natural habitat. A Studebaker. <laughs> a Studebaker. <laughs> 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 So, chat, have you guys been keeping up with Goblin Slayer? Did you see that he took on some new enemies? Some goblins? Oh, that was that anime you guys put up before, okay. Yeah, it's like the greatest anime ever. It's about a guy slaying goblins. <laughs> Does he do anything else? Yeah, yeah he's, he slays goblins. <laughs> anything else? <laughs> like... I think it's episode two or whatever. Some some different races come by and they're like, hey, you know, we're like dwarves and elves and dragons and stuff and we need to come together because the demon lord is attacking. And he's like, yeah, I don't want to help you. He's not a goblin, so I can't help. I humbly slay goblins. <laughs> All right, uh, Santiago, let me know if I get this right. Uh, there, there just needs to be a neighborhood here in Naguabo, Puerto Rico that was so infamous it was called Sal Si Puede, which in Spanish means get out if you can. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I just want to get out in a town that says get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They get out like the movie Get Out. I'm about the whitest Puerto Rican you can get, so uh, my Spanish is not very good. But uh, are you a body snatcher? What? <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to kill Jason now. Do you think See, this is out why I don't stream my Good. fucking Eureka grinds. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I gave up clearly on Eureka. I this is also why I don't ever want to stream a genocide route of Undertale. <laughs> it's not a matter of it being morally reprehensible. It's just dull. You, you were expecting a full party of streamers based off of Deltarune. But nobody came. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna nail it on you repeatedly. Can I ask though? Because that does piss me off. <laughs> that that's the that's one thing is you know, it's one thing that you have to run in circles repeatedly to kill things. I get the message and I get the um the the meta commentary on it. But it's like the but nobody came thing. Why are you stopping? <laughs> it's like if nobody's there, why are you stopping? Like who's encountering you? It's the wind. The, the wind? <laughs> they just fucking walk by it! No, you see whenever you're walking around and you think you see someone? Yeah. Oh, and, like, jump a bit. <laughs> oh, I hate that feeling. Like, especially, you just uh, into a random battle. <laughs> and you're like, oh, wait, no. <laughs> There's no one here. No, it's just like, it was like little like, squiggly lines in your eyes. You just like, just like, oh, I saw something move. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? You just like, look around for that little squiggly line in your eye. <laughs> I forget what it's called. What the glimmer in your eye? The glimmer, yeah. Yeah, the glimmer in your eye is when you, is when you're you, you, you're about to conceive a child. The, what the? F yeah. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's all. That's all I know. <laughs> it's like when you stare at a light bulb and you look away. There's like this little black spot. Like something like that. Also, anime titties. <laughs> Your sins are stopping you. <laughs> Eric, I, this isn't a BSC grind commentary because we're not saying draw. Yeah. Draw. We're not making draw. references to commentary that was literally a decade ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. Strago has got. Wait, Str the, the glasses are not even over Strago's head, they're just on his forehead. <laughs> so he shouldn't be blind at all. Look at that. Look at these rocking those damn shades. <laughs> Is this the part where we say sporks? No. Oh man, that was. What the heck is that? Super fucking deep cut brain scratch reference. <laughs> that's, that's like, like that's right. like month right. one. That's like month one of brain scratch. We like, you know, it's like a running gag. We just say sporks at the end of the part. Yeah, it lasted a whole day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna bring it back. <laughs> Every stream, we're just gonna say sporks. Yeah, you'll forget it immediately. Good. <laughs> Old school brain scratch makes me cringe. What? But what about what and Ronald Drake? <laughs> well, no, but that's funny though. But that's because we didn't deliver that joke. <laughs> you know, YouTube <laughs> made that joke. <laughs> but um, no, man, I can't go back and watch the old commentaries. I literally can't. It, it, the audio quality sucks. The video quality, oh my god, the video quality <laughs> is horrible. Especially the shit I recorded, like the Sonic Two playthrough, Mega Man X. I Did mean, you use a? There was like half of the 06 commentary was in a fucking glass bowl. Machine gun table tech, go! <laughs> I mean, we all had a shirt somewhere. Uh, the F Zero commentary. The vampiric tip. My rock band mic because I didn't have a headset at the time. Well, the F Zero commentary, the vampiric tick incident. Vampiric tick, fuck you, okay. There's some things I still remember, like, what are you going to be such a petty asshole for? <laughs> <laughs> What's the oh, oldest commentary I can listen to, Dragoon Hero? I mean, uh, anything probably around 2011 and beyond, but everything below that, fuck out of here, I can't do it. And Joke's even then, on you, I don't listen to my old commentary. 2011 is borderline, because that's still around, 2011, 2012 is still around the time we still use Skype. 
to record our conversations before we got the idea that hey, maybe you dickheads should probably all be using Audacity. <laughs> uh, so when we talk over each other, it's really fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah. Also, experiment. You have the videos on your computers. If you want to post them, go ahead. I'm not ashamed of those videos. I did. <laughs> God, man, the fucking brain scratch turns ten years old next year, and I. Just so old. Are you gonna be playing uh, Faces of Evil? Uh, no, no, that was our fifth anniversary celebration. Or uh, uh, Wanda Game on. Oh, uh, no, nah, no, nah, I don't think we're gonna do that. I think we're just gonna like do like Brain Scratch greatest hits, really. No, oh, all Lewis. Uh, said. Uh, no, no, no. You gotta do a Wanda Game on. <laughs> I fucking missed the seahorse. Uh, hold till Mario. <laughs> no. No, you, you you start out the video with Lewis saying, "What time are we at?" And Ryan replies with ten years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I clicked off the video. <laughs> oh, I clicked off the video. What time are we at now? <laughs> <laughs> Not starting Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> the non-Lewis Chronicles. Holy fuck! His Man, PC, his PC was probably a piece of cardboard back in the day. I about you to guys say, you get guys... ready. Go ahead. I about to say that you guys watch the stuff on uh, Revit nowadays to make sure the quality is actual or the actual timing of everything is all the same right time. But you guys go to start recording the 10 year anniversary video and Lewis's computer dies. <laughs> God forbid. Uh, memories. Ah, uh, this takes me back. <laughs> How long was it that when Ted replaced Lewis? Uh, Ted officially replaced Lewis. During the Not Lewis Chronicles in Final Fantasy VI. So, whenever that playthrough aired, is when Ted became full fledged Brain Scratch. When will I ever get, become Brain Scratch? Never. <laughs> Good. You're with Good. me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, get me out of this, I'm coming, Johnny! Man, you can't live stream. He doesn't pay me! <laughs> <laughs> he pays me in bread! <laughs> I could have become a brain scratch if Pokemon Emerald didn't hate me. <laughs> well, technically, I started as brain scratch with the uh, brain scratch free company. The brain scratch free company, yeah. Well, then I'm a brain scratch too. <laughs> <laughs> We're all brain scratch. Because <laughs> I was uh, a hobo in the free company. I didn't even have the game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Billy, I first heard about you through your AM2R review, and that's one kind of hit me personally. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Too bad about AM2R, though. <laughs> yeah, it's still around. No. What about the AM2R commentary, Johnny? Are you going to be doing that? What are you talking about, Jason? Brain scratch. Do <laughs> AM2R? <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, you know, I think I it's think because of all the artwork that you've done. That's why people think that you're part of ESC. <laughs> well, that, I mean, there's I, Brain Scratch and there's the Brain Scratch community. I think that's what, yeah. I think that's an important distinction. I gotcha. You know, fuck, I'm gonna take a look at the Brain Scratch fan Deviant Art page. All oh, that oh, hentai cool. of every character. No, oh, actually, surprisingly, <laughs> there's no hentai. At least I don't think so, anyway. Chat. That's what you think. <laughs> hey, listen, if there is whatever... <laughs> But, uh, you know, I don't see a titty as soon as I type in some call me Johnny on the search bar, so I think that's a... I mean, not even a bitch. Not even a, a bitch tit. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> the tab between Ted and Amanda? John and Pablo, remember when you had to be the dad between Ted and Amanda? Ted and Amanda bickering. Was that Pokemon Leaf Green? No. Oh. Shadow the Hedgehog. The Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, was it? I honestly don't remember. Though everything became so much better once Gareth got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> So I do got a question from you, Johnny. How come you haven't like asked like like some of the old people that you used to work with, like uh, Chugga Conroy, uh, Malayat, 
What was her name? I forgot. Masaya. Masaya. Thank you. Yeah, because <laughs> and I, I, like some of the other people. I go because all right, yeah. here's, all right. Here's the thing. I know Emil. I know Masay. But I'm not. I'm not friends with them. If that, if you could put it that way. I I don't know them more than I know. Uh, my my fucking neighbor down the street. You know, they're acquaintances. You know, I don't. YouTube neighbor. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're, 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 that's pretty much it. Like they're YouTube neighbor. I don't. I don't have their phone numbers. I don't message them on Discord. I don't hit their DMs. <laughs> I don't. I don't talk to them. You know, we know each other, but we don't know each other. So it's more of a, a more professional sort it's, of thing. yeah, professional courtesy. Basically, yeah. you know, I give them their space. I don't. I don't do anything unless they mention it specifically or I mention them specifically. That's it. Like I don't like I don't have a phone line ready to say, "Hey, Emil, you want to do anything?" <laughs> on? It's like no. It I I don't know them like that. I literally I really don't know them like that. And that goes oh, for a okay. lot of people. You know, I know I know Ant and Cat Icarus more than I know Emil and let's say. Even then that's borderline too. <laughs> borderline neighbors or just borderline it's, friends? It's just neighbors, really. Oh, that's yeah. all we are. We're neighbors. Some call me Slendon in the DMs. <laughs> uh, trying to like think of a few more questions about your profession. Have oh, you already figured it out? <laughs> yeah, uh, rare foil, pretty much. Like, like I say, sup, I say sup. You want to talk about Sonic for forty minutes? <laughs> so it's like, yeah, sure. And then you know we go our separate ways, and then we talk. We don't talk to each other for the rest of the year. That's pretty much the, the, our, how, where our relationship starts and it ends, you know? Hmm. Check your DMs. And honestly, honest to God, like, the, the one time I'm... The, the, the one time I'm guaranteed to probably see uh, the Runaway guys in any capacity is during PAX or maybe MAGFest. And they look so fucking busy that I don't want to go beyond, you know, just saying, Hey, how you doing? How's, every, how's the channel going? And then they go separate ways, and that's it. Because they look so busy, <laughs> and I don't <laughs> want to get in the way of that. No, no. Here's what you need to do. You need to take her hand, slap him on the ass, be like, "Hey, baby, what's up?" <laughs> yeah, okay. Him. And I get a lawsuit, and there goes my channel. <laughs> Dick. Check, check. I don't want you in this stream. <laughs> <Get the fuck. laughs> uh, future me, I do apologize. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think consistently with like the most um, collaborations you've done is with me, and that's just because we usually. <laughs> well, I was our games line of, up. I was in a couple of your commentaries. You helped me with Metal Gear Solid Priest Walker, uh, Mighty Number yeah. Nine. Uh, am I missing anything? Our times usually line up together because we're usually doing the same game <laughs> for like different reasons, though. Because you were doing Mighty Number no. Nine for your review, and we were doing it for the channel. Yeah. Meanwhile, you were doing Peace Walker for your review, and we were doing it for the channel. Well, that was just coincidence at that point. Like Mighty Number no. Nine makes more sense because it was just it was it was a, a quote unquote hot commodity. <laughs> oh, what's funny is that that same year we did Sonic Adventure Two, and you guys redid Sonic Adventure Two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like weeks apart from each other. The smaller channel keeping the smaller channels down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad Billy's in the same boat as me. I'm glad we. I'm glad that's how we make good first impressions. Slapping them on the ass, but okay, baby. <laughs> I'll slap my own ass, but I won't slap anybody else's ass. <laughs> yeah, just get right front and be like, mm, baby. Yeah, and I gave you guys <laughs> plenty of ass with my last video. You're welcome for that. I know you didn't ask for it, but I gave it to you anyway. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, yeah. <laughs> On Halloween. I'm just as bad as the fucking Home Depot and CBS. <laughs> Link is a piranha plant. <laughs> Already Valentine's Day. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't I'm not for, kidding. I can't wait for Easter. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we've made some pretty decent progression. We're, before we jumped six levels, we've got about maybe four more to go before we're done with this party. Yeah. Hold on, I have not checked my damn elemental levels at all. <laughs> Ten elements? That sounds scary. Yeah. By the way, for chat clarity, I never do this stuff in real life. I just joke around with it. <laughs> oh, I never... Oh, I'm an idiot! Did you forget to... Oh! Yeah! I had to oh. forget to equip Magicite. Ah! Uh, I mean, I'm still gaining physical levels, but the elemental levels I did not get at all. 
Uh, no, I fuck, you... I just gotta give somebody. Wait, why did I get rid of them? I thought I equipped them. They weren't equipped? <laughs> I thought th I thought I did. I just I guess I didn't. I thought you looked at Gamer Nicole's comments and got mad. Esper levels, Johnny. <laughs> Esper levels. Okay, well, let's... We'll, we'll have to catch up anyway. Remember, it's no no November. Uh, that's already been gone. <laughs> as soon as I saw Smash, <laughs> mm, that nut's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we still got, like, five levels to go with these characters, so we can still get elemental levels in some regard, but it's like, fuck, man, I thought I equipped them! I remember equipping them! <laughs> Big oof. Who needs magic anyway? Yeah, I'm about to say there. You can just suplex everything. It's been two days, Linky. <laughs> <laughs> it's no been nut two November days. Started today, and your ass almost made me nut. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a Deku nut? Uh... Yeah, it's De yeah. Do Deku nuts count? No, it's a nut boy. Nut boy. <laughs> nut boy. Nut boy evolved this into big nut. Use useless uh, psychic powers. I forgot Bardock said that. <laughs> what the hell is what a stream? What the hell is a stream? Grinding. Seriously, we're trying to keep it. We're, we're trying to keep each other sane. Uh, Dra uh, Dragoon Heroes the X. No shave November is the innocent version of it, but people like to take things and corrupt them. <laughs> so there's also no nut November uh, as well. Just. Let your body relax for a little bit and not yeah. pressurize it to be... I'm trying to make this as PG as I can, but it's still masturbation. We just talk- <laughs> we, we- we talking about PG as- we just no, literally no, discuss No Nut November. <laughs> 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 we ain't talking about cashews! Or Nutella. <laughs> yeah, or, or Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to levitate. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I can't grow facial hair. That's not scattered. I know the. I I know what you're talking about Punisher. Well, what we really should do is just get a shotgun marker and fill in the gaps. <laughs> it's I'm the only way. I look homeless right now. Billy, I think you need a shave. I do wish my beard was thicker though. And just get another sharpie. Like I <laughs> wish I had Gerard. I wish I had a Gerard beard. Same. It's so majestic. Oh, dude, my coworker. He has his beard grown up ever since he got out of high school, and that thing is super thick. He has not shaved, shaved or trimmed that thing. And I'm I'll tell you though, one of the fun, one of the funny things about like the, these sort of like raunchy discussions is that I can tell from discussions in the chat like who are the real degenerates. <laughs> like I'm not calling out <laughs> names. <laughs> but it's like I can tell like like these these guys probably <laughs> masturbate to some really fucking strange things that I don't want to know about. No, it's not to strange things, it's the fact that they're doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, is what's hey baby, things. let me uh, let uh me it's like I'm here for that brain scratch comes. <laughs> 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 but this is some common journey! Even better. <laughs> Sir Tosi, I'm not calling names out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's just that I think it's pretty fucking obvious. Well, you just like, called out Sir Toasty right there. No, Sir Toasty <laughs> is saying I'm calling people out. I was like, no, I'm not naming people. I'm just saying. You just that named Mr. It's no, but Tosi's bringing up my commentary on my damn commentary. <laughs> uh, I'm not naming names, but it's really obvious <laughs> who some of you people are. <laughs> <laughs> Names left the chat. <laughs> Commentary. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to go to bed tonight. <laughs> Dra drain snatch comes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're one of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh man, I was re watching the X tree that we did. Holy so cow, that, that was amazing. Way. Fuck man, this yes. is a grinding stream. 
Just because well, like, I like it when my girlfriend <laughs> talking about your sister during sex. That's what we think it's a gender. Oh god. It's like, it's like you guys are the problem. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh, I actually did gain some element fools in the middle of that. Cool. Oxymoron are us. <laughs> Speaking of light novels, there is a Japanese light novel called There's No Way My Little Sister Can Be This Cute. Oh god, Jesus Christ. Y'all need jeans. And, and by the way, there's like three or four different little sister anime each season and I'm like, no thank How many times do parents fuck? <laughs> it's not the it's not the parents, it's the siblings. Oh. Is Japan like the southern of like the world? The <laughs> <where> they just <laughs> What? <laughs> you know how like the hillbillies are like, ah, oh, I'm gonna be having sex with my wife even though she's my sister as she gives birth to my mother. I'd rather not open that can of worms. <laughs> No, that's just Greek mythology happening again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're always claiming all over each other. Just look at that guy. If we don't learn from dick. history, we are doomed to repeat it. <laughs> Zeus yeah, fucked yeah. everything. <laughs> Including his sister. <laughs> God I can't wait Zeus. when Johnny does a documentary on how BSC came to be. Uh, see, I honestly got because we're in the middle of all this damn kinky discussion. I can't tell if that's supposed to be like a you know a sex joke. Came to be, yeah, just like came to be. To be. Yeah, you know what? Let's, you want to talk about that? I mean, sure, sure, go ahead. Porno in drill place? No. <laughs> Billy fine tunes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so would you actually do a documentary about BSC? A f well, a documentary? Yeah, I would love to do that. It's like, so yeah, I sit on my chair. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the different camera shots I just going like, all over the room. Going up, get the headset ready. Uh, we synchronize our audio files with the countdown, and then we uh, watch the video. Or at least pretend what? to watch the video. And sometimes. <laughs> Don't you mean I'm playing Tetris on the 3DS? <laughs> I'm actually uh, refreshing my Twitter page right now because I'm actually really bored of looking at what's happening on the screen. Okay, God shut up. It, Lewis made a half an hour party on. <laughs> shut well, better up. better end this up together. <laughs> no pair oh, would always on, call man. me out for being on Twitter during <laughs> 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 One of my seeing an overview of the BSC similar to Johnny vs. I mean, there's not much to there's not much to do or say like in terms of setup because it's just four guys sitting on a computer doing commentary. You know? Anybody can do that. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, we're we're doing right now. Yeah, I, I mean, all the, except well, the, I got there, there's a live element to this, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So we're going past two hours. We're, uh, we're probably what levels am I am right now? Because I really don't want to end this like in the middle of uh, grinding these guys. So. You know, we'll go on a little long today. Well, Probably John, not, the world not ends with you. Be brain scrap. No, Super Game Brothers porno were by browsers. No. <laughs> God, well, I want to fuck Matt. Oh, by the way, Tim Lee, if you call DirecTV, I can go and force browsers onto your subscriptions. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Are you blackmailing? <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Of course, you'll be paying, I think, 29 All right, Billy. Yeah. Have a good night, dude. Say hi have to fun your, with boss your boss. Oh, Billy. Don't flirt with the boss now. It's bad. It's bad chemistry. <laughs> Appreciate this run. Jeff. Oh, no problem, Billy. And I feel like we got to know a lot more no, about each other. Be, like, when, I, when I get to upload the rest of this playthrough on YouTube, like, unlisted, of course, because it's going to be like 30,000 fucking videos, uh... Like, how long this playthrough was, hour-wise. Well, each session was about two to about two, three hours. Yeah, two hours. I didn't really go further than that, though. <laughs> Alright, so what's two times 22? Uh, 44. There you go. Ooh. John. <laughs> you didn't go that much further, but in about two minutes, we will know what it means to go even further. <laughs> Beyond! I already know that. It was called the fucking Ursula Battle, Kingdom Hearts 1. 
<laughs> to level one problem mode. Never forget. Never forget it. Because that was a nightmare. And I love Altara we got, and I came up with a random story about Goku and uh, football. The football. Oh, you made it up. Okay. Oh, it's, <laughs> or, I, I thought it was legit. No, Goku I literally just, I legit Goku made that shit. <laughs> wasn't a quarterback. <laughs> yeah, Goku was a quarterback, Krillin was a linebacker, Frieza was basically the other team, and he had to go Super Saiyan, God, Goku, and stuff. I, I, I don't want to repeat that. <laughs> so that's why Goku's in the Macy's Day Parade. <laughs> because of football. Wow, my fan, my little fanfic that I wrote for that basically got that popular. <laughs> Linky and Pat made that up with synergy. That is true. <laughs> I love the fact that LA confused sodomy for necrophilia. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was a. Uh... Was that Mario 3? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was Mario 3 that we did the Fresh GB a few years back, where Elliot uh, just. <laughs> I, I think he didn't know the meaning of the word sodomize. I think he just heard the word and he wanted to use it as an insult, but as Matt <laughs> <laughs> immediately corrected him after, it like, means you want to butt fuck him. <laughs> I do remember that he didn't know what the word cavity meant either, so. Uh, yeah, there's also that too. You may want to buy him a dictionary for his birthday. <laughs> or Webster. Just get him a copy of Webster. Webster's a dictionary. <laughs> Uh, Anthem Hero, uh, because I'm going to be planning for um, the Mega Maniacs charity event uh, tomorrow, uh, most of tomorrow, and it, it happens on Saturday. I think tomorrow I'm just going to have a Twitch, uh, Twitch sub q and I'm probably going to have those like once a month, uh, just so I can shoot the shit with you guys, like on a massive scale, because you don't have to actually play a game <laughs> to get involved in that. Uh, and I need more, and I just, like, this week has just been for the video and getting ready for that sort of thing, so I have not had time to look at the suggestion box. Oh, yeah, the Mario, hey, the uh, Mega Shane, Mega I'm glad you came thing. back. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Mega Man thing is this weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Saturday, uh, at noon. Alright. And I have to go, I gotta go to Ben's oh, place right. tomorrow to give him the mic compressor and help set up. And then I have to go back to, I gotta, I gotta get sleep at an early, <laughs> Uh, an early hour and actually hopefully get some proper sleep. I would say just kind of tire why, yourself but out. Why not? <laughs> I would say just tire yourself out tonight so that way you, when you feel but it's when no you're like... November. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting back in the rush stuff. Again. How am I going to sleep if I can't not? <laughs> hey, big, can I go to your bathroom for a sec? No, no, no. No! no! <laughs> John Seed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from a Far Cry. Oh, uh, man. Uh, but I wish you guys luck during the whole entire thing, and hopefully well, it doesn't... It's, it's actually going to be pretty easy uh, compared to other years, because one, it's not a race. Uh, and two, oh. I'm not I I'm not playing every game on the list. You know, because... Oh, okay. Um, Ben Ben's bringing a few buddies, and they they want to get more involved with it, and they've elected to play some some of the games. So that means I can actually rest and uh, <laughs> and help read with donation comments. Oh, that's nice. You know, but the thing is, is that Ben's friends are not going to be there for the entire day. They're going to be there for like the early part of it, and then late at night, it's like it's all us. And I was like, fuck. So that means I'm probably going to be playing Mega Man and Base. <laughs> Why didn't you ask for some help from Chris? What do you mean? To get some Mega Man voice actors involved. I have not talked to uh, Chris Neosi in the last couple of months because he's been a busy uh, boy. I, 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 yeah, I, I've always figured he was super busy. Yeah, just like send a message, be like, "Hey man, what's up?" How's it going? I mean, if he's got time to jump into the Discord during Saturday, I'll ask. But, um... Oh, yeah, I he's mean, still we'll working on that one game, ain't he? Uh, his Tome game, I believe it was? Yeah. I think mm -hmm. so, yeah. God rest rest for drawing all the animation. A game based off oh. a web series about a game? Yeah. Anyway... 
I'm going to have to bid you guys farewell. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Are you going to I need to be getting up at 5 a.m. You're going to go nuts. Yeah, you probably should go to sleep then at this point. We're almost done here anyway. Yeah. Also, I need to go nut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very sad to you, Jason. Not, not, not. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I gotta start unhooking my uh, switch from my computer real quick because I'm actually gonna be trading that in tomorrow. What? I'm trading in my switch for the uh, Smash Bros. Switch tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, I was worried there. <laughs> like, you know what? Like, we're literally just switch. talking about having more Smash Ultimate streams, and it's just like, yeah, but I don't want <laughs> Dude, someone did that yesterday. What? One of my coworkers, he bought a PS4. And it was the Red Dead Redemption 2 bundle. And he's oh. like, you know, Red Dead 2 is a, j a jank game, so I'm going to trade it in immediately. And so he did, and I'm like, why did you spend $360 to gain $30 when you could have just spent $300? <laughs> He's like, oh, didn't think about it like that. Hey, uh, uh, Ronnie, thank you very much for the tier two sub, dude. But anyway, I will bid you guys farewell. Yeah, dude. Uh, th thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't nut. And everyone have a nice nut. <laughs> yeah. I mean, night. <laughs> I mean, not is what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, have a good night, man. Uh, Later. I'll focus on speed, Shadow. Alright. Almost done here. Almost done here. How's everybody in chat hanging in there? I know, we're about to end the live stream in about like 10 minutes. Yeah, uh, I think uh, to keep it ambiguously innocent, the raid hashtag would just be nut. No, we're not. No, not spork nut. <laughs> Just nut. God, I probably have like a fucking uh, shitload of GP. Yeah, I do. I wonder if I could spend it on probably a shitload of tinctures and Phoenix Downs just in case. Yeah, I'm probably gonna buy a shitload of tinctures. Hey, Otaku, uh, I'm doing good, John. How you can? Yeah, I know he's in Smash. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm alright. My eyes are burning a bit, though. But I, I'm not gonna fuck Hello? Up hey, Linky, what's up? You kind of disappeared there. I just disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I, I, it, well, I get this new third arm. I don't know where it came from. Nice. So, so you're Alucard, the Sega Saturn Symphony of the Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's like one game I can actually play. Finally play now. Uh, Castlevania. Symphony of the Night. Uh, Pokemon Master, we're going to get Lores for Strago. I can. I'll. If I got the time, I'll do it off screen. Is Lucky so going to trade himself in for Smash Switch? Oh yeah, all the time. Shiva Linky, what? What about Shiva? What about Shiva? I don't know. Someone just said Shiva Linky. <laughs> PS1 and Saturn version. Yeah. Sorry, I just came in the middle of that conversation when you all talking about Castlevania. I don't know what y'all talking about. Have you heard Shiva. that Masuda is stepping down as a director of the main Pokemon series? Huh, no, I did not hear about that. Yeah. Guessing he wants yeah. to be other things, or maybe he's retiring? How old is Masuda? Uh, let's check. Masuda. Uh. He was born in 1968, so I would say he's roughly about. 1968? Yep. So he's, he's 50. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. Wow, he's, he's, that is a lot of games he made. <laughs> or got his hand in, because I see a couple Smash Bros. in the game in there, and I don't think he helped out well, with that. Well, he probably, yeah, he's probably, uh, that's probably for Pokemon consulting, yeah. 
He's like, does this look right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what's the saying here? It's called a Pikachu. A Pikachu what? A Pikachu. Oh, no, that's Jigglypuff. <laughs> They're all oh, you mean Igglypuff? Yeah, no, they're all, they're all, well, no, but I was, I was surrounded by adults who call every Pokemon Pikachu. <laughs> but what's this? Oh, that's Poliwag from the, from looking upwards, from the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you're one of those it's assholes. Jigglypuff seen from above. I hated that. <laughs> well, yeah, because he cheated. Yes, he did. So, what the fucking mind game? I just want to take the test and leave. I just want my badge. I want to become master of the Pokemon and just become a uh, catch them all, even though I'll use Pikachu. To be fair, Final Fantasy XII's music director did a cute em up on the PC engine. Oh. Okay. Whoa. All right, thank you for the bits, dude. Uh, I've been a fan since 2010. You and SGV have been there to cheer me up on dark days. Thank you so much, John. Well, thank you for thank you for the support, uh, Ronnie. You go to I... this guy for cheering up. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Don't project, Linky. <laughs> I love you too, man. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Roddy, thank you very much, man. I do appreciate the support I really do. I wish I was, Sorry, a, I wish I was in a better state of mind, but, you know, I, I, this is grinding. Uh, it's called Magical Chase. Good luck finding a copy below $500. This guy cheers you up at your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. I really wish I, my compressor didn't cause my fucking voice to go robotic, though, because I do miss having my compressor set up for a better oh. uh, mic quality. Because you can kind of hear yourself in the background. Or kind of like hear yourself kind of like static a little bit. Uh, spend that $100 wildly superstar. I'm pretty, I, no, I think 1,000 bits is $10. That's $10. That's $10, not $100. That'd be 10,000 bits. And fuck you, if you ever give me that much, I would hate you. I mean, I would love you, but I'd hate you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Pokemon Master, you keep paying my uh, Final Fantasy fourteen sub. Just keep at it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, wait, no. At that point, it's like, look, can you sign up for the game so I can get more gold and Chocobo feathers? Oh God, like, that is I, true. I, I'm only, I'm only five away from getting to Antonia. <laughs> God, it's been years. I gotta get people to sign up for that game. Oh. <laughs> Shade, if you go sign up for the game, let me know, please. <laughs> no, 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 let me know, let me know, no, let me know. No, let me know, I'm no, your friend. <laughs> no, 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 Shade, trust me, I'm your friend. I need those golden chocobo feathers, I want Twintania, I'm only five away. Bitch, I need them too! <laughs> yeah, I need them more than you do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't pay my soap. <laughs> yeah, you don't pay for mine either. These, these, these arguments don't work, they go back and forth. <laughs> and Shade just gives it to somebody else. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Says the man who spent one hundred fifty dollars on a Final Fantasy fourteen emo. Hey, it came with a free statue. Don't <laughs> don't judge me too much. It's a really cool looking statue too. It's the Shiva one that I probably showed off at this point. I kind of want to go back and buy the Odin statue. Oh, shit, is that even available on the store anymore? Or do you have to buy that like, second hand? I think it's probably second hand, but you can still get the emo and just the statue itself. Well, no, because if it's if it's second hand, then the code's most likely been used already. Not mythological. I love how I hit Odin statue and just get the old school Odins. Uh, I'm guessing no, it's still... an in-game statue. No, 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 it's an actual physical statue. It's in my shelf back. Oh, uh, okay. So unfortunately, they're out. Dang it. Yeah, I, I figured as much. I would like who's to have Katrini? the Odin statue. Same here. Uh, who's contributing to a new laptop for me? Uh, well, Johnny, I guess this is your hand. Uh, you can give her some money to get yourself a new laptop. Say what? She's like wanting to get, get a, a contribution towards a new laptop. Oh, she's <laughs> trying to save up for it. Listen, if I was a millionaire, I'd help out. <laughs> but I'm only a half millionaire. I'd so. get you all. If I, fuck it. If I hit that, if I hit that, if I was the one to hit that Mega Millions that I think only two people won when it uh, went through. For like 1.6 billion dollars, I get you all a laptop, a cheap one, because I ain't that <laughs> generous. <laughs> but uh, what about me? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. No, I would have thought you probably just give me one of those like tech, those like toy laptops. <laughs> that likes worth 25 dollars each. <laughs> John, this is a briefcase. Yeah, but it, it looks like a laptop, <laughs> and that's what matters. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Screws Ortiz. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is this last ape screw? <laughs> hey, but you know, ten elements and experiment. You, you guys, you guys live in Europe, and uh, that shit has to go through customs, and it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pay two dollars more. Okay, that's expensive. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, when I um, I sold my uh, my first tablet to a friend of mine who lives in um, who lives in the UK, and I covered the customs fee, and it was like three hundred dollars. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, because it was it was a pretty big item. Oh okay. I was about to say that if it was a small box, they shouldn't have charged you that much for that. <laughs> Can I request a desktop instead? You will take it and you'll like it. It's free, bitch. It's free. Really. Give a uh, gift for. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> my coworkers do that all the time. Four USB. It's got a pool in the back. <laughs> <laughs> free real estate. <laughs> no, <it's> like... <laughs> God damn it. The laptop is free! <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll pay you an exposure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm still waiting for that exposure, Johnny. <laughs> well, what expo why? Why would I expose myself to you, Linky? No, well, first of all, that's later tonight. <laughs> Second of all... <laughs> One more level. Okay, oh, yeah, speaking of which, I better uh, back up all my game data. <laughs> it's free exposure. <laughs> <laughs> That's our hashtag. Free exposure. Yeah, free exposure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you're getting exposure right now. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm surprised I you actually don't plug your Twitch channel more often when you're here. Oh, you mean, uh, you mean like, a uh, Linky the Cat, or Twitch.com? Because you do live slash. streams, <laughs> it's like, but you don't, like, you never talk about it when you're, when you're here. When I you know, can, just... I'm not gonna chew you out for it, I don't give a fuck. Watch me, fuckers. What, what, oh, oh, okay, you said fuckers. <laughs> I said, watch me fuck. <laughs> It'll be glorious. Yeah, well, to be fair, I... Come, I wife, would. and then come again. <laughs> Uh, but honestly, like, I actually don't have, like, a set scheduled date for myself, so I really can't be like, oh, you can watch me on these days that I know for sure that I'm going to stream a lot. Well, I just stream whenever I can. Uh... He's trying to be humble, John. He shows I'm not humble. being humble! I'm being honest! <laughs> no, wait. No, no, no! Humble's a good thing! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to be humble, you see, but he shows enough for GameStop as he is. <laughs> But but by the way, you should sign up for a Power Wars card. <laughs> no, but honestly, like when I stream, it's usually periodically random. Like if I usually have like a day off, be like, okay, go stream right now. Though this month in particular, I'm actually going to be trying to stream a lot more because where we have one more month till Smash. Yeah. I'm actually I've actually had said this before on another stream. But uh, if you guys actually wanted to get yourself some free games for me, uh, if you guys want to go to my Twitch page, um, subscribe to me, and you can get entered in a chance to win a couple of uh, Smash Bros. Uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate games for my for me. It'd be all digital only. Wow, Linky, but you're uh, boy, Smash Switches. Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate <laughs> games. Smash. The Switch is the Switch is mine. The yeah. <laughs> Switch is mine. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing all this month Smash Brothers. I'm going to be playing 64, uh, Melee, Brawl, and Project M. Because I can't play 4 right now. <laughs> I'm surprised John hasn't mysteriously gotten an early copy of Smash Ultimate from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> if what anything, is, What is Kentucky like, if you don't mind me asking? Kentucky? Uh, yeah. weather changes a lot. You, what do you, what do you one mean? day it's cold, one day it's hot. Where I live out in the country and under a lot of trees, the weather's just like shift from being winter to spring to summer all of a sudden, and it's just like that. It's just basically Kentucky weather. <laughs> well, the grass is blue. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, I still don't understand why people call it the bluegrass state. <laughs> where the grass is pretty much green. Though yeah, I pretty much blame Lexington for talking that. About? <laughs> Grass is green. These guys can't see. They're colorblind. I'm surprised that we're not the horse state because we always have the Kentucky Derby here in our in our area. This is that is a good description of Kentucky, Linky. I know. Probably for the music. Yeah, bluegrass, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> I must say, I never listened to much bluegrass growing up. Most of the day, most of the time, it was just basically uh, classic rock or old country music. 
Not like bluegrass music. Fuck it, Ducky. Sincerely. Well, fuck you too, man. <laughs> fuck it, Ducky. Sincerely, a Hoosier. No, if anything, uh, my town is probably the most generic name in the world. What is it? Junction City. What is it? Junction City. Junction City? Yep. Yep. Junction. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you... uh, okay. first I thought you said Johnson. Uh, and then I was like, <laughs> that is pretty generic. Yeah. I'm basically... My town that I live in is basically a train station. Yep. <laughs> is it like a small village and the train station is the most important thing? Pretty much until we got a Wendy's. Or a uh, Hardee's. 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 Uh oh, Hardee. I don't think I I, 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 I'm not even lying. Like, the biggest thing here in my town right now is a Hardee's. <laughs> okay, well, I, I have an inkling of what it's like as uh, when I, uh, my first college, uh, two college of liberal arts, is in Greenville, PA. It is a small college town that literally has nothing but a bunch of small businesses that were put out of business because there's a Walmart <laughs> like three blocks down the other way. <laughs> that is the only interesting thing about Greenville, PA is that Walmart. I'm catching you live, and Kentucky sounds like Georgia. It probably is, even though Kentucky's touching every state right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kentucky, you fuck so well. <laughs> But there uh, is one thing that I know. This is one thing that I uh, personally have been told by one of my friends. Don't go to Ohio because if you go to Ohio, you'll never leave. <laughs> uh, Ohio. I haven't been to Ohio since my since the Yu-Gi-Oh regionals. The Yu-Gi-Oh region. Uh, uh, I did a yeah. lot of Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments back in college. Uh, we went to a regionals in Columbus, and I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, because oh, our, shit, friend, Peter, our friend, our friend, uh, my friend Nick. I haven't talked to him in ages, but we were, we we left pretty late at night because uh, we needed to get an early. We didn't we didn't have enough money to get like multiple nights at a hotel, so we left pretty late at night. And he fell asleep on the wheel. Oh my god! Yeah, and we we rear-ended someone at like thirty miles per hour, and we and it only because we told him we, we we shook him because we realized he was dipping in and out. Uh, that we told him to wake up, and if he fell asleep anymore, he probably would have slammed his foot in the gas pedal. Oh my gosh. He was to say, he went right to the back seat. <laughs> have you ever been to a car wreck before? Have, like an actual car wreck. Have I ever been to a car wreck? Or ever been in a car wreck is where I should be asking you. <laughs> I think I'll go to the car wreck today. Oh boy, they're all crashing each other. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in a car wreck. No, I mean besides that, that's that's pretty much it. Because you know we did we did hit that guy in the back pretty hard, but it didn't total the car. It just dented the f uh, the fender. Uh, I got you. Uh, but no, I've never been in a car wreck. Been in a car wreck. That's good. For I've I had a couple of near misses. <laughs> oh yeah, but, uh, that's all the time. <laughs> you know, and that fucking get, that takes ten years out of my life, but. No, I've never been in an actual wreck. I have been in a total of three. Three? <laughs> yes, sir. You know, like, you ever thought maybe at this point it might be you? <laughs> well, here's the thing. What I happened? wasn't driving. You okay. weren't... Oh, to your passenger. Yeah. Uh, so, I was actually... This is, like, during middle school, and every morning I'm always getting a plate missing the bus and all that, so I'm always taking the bus with my uh, next-door neighbor... Who was a teenager at the time who just got her license and she likes to go well over the speed limit and every time she does that i'm literally holding my head down just not even look at the road just keeping my eyes focused on my game boy at the time and one time we were going to this road called stewart's lane which is basically a road that does not have like any like uh any like signs there's a lot of turns a lot of trees and you can't like see what's up ahead so she was driving about 80 miles per hour down this one road and this red truck was pretty much i don't know if they were doing the same or whatnot because it's kind of fuzzy in my memory but we basically hit the front of the truck we spun out and hit the side of a tree out into some dude's lawn i remember waking up seeing my brother my older brother at the time and my uh the uh, person who was driving at the time Basically, they were out cold, so I'm sitting there waking up, like, hey, wake up, wake up. Like, I I 
wasn't even shocked yet. I was just like, hey, you guys okay? You guys okay? No, you because okay? your mind was probably processing the whole fucking thing. Yeah, so... What did you, what did you, how did you... What did you survive what? out of that? Did you, what did you... Would you sit skin knees? I actually had no no scars on me. No scar Dude, you're Bruce Willis from Unbreakable. <laughs> so... Which means okay. one of us is Mr. Glass. <laughs> But uh, there's me, actually black. one thing about the story that's actually kind of funny. So what? I remember whenever the fire department came by and literally had a walls of laws of they had like these uh, walls of the jaws of life. The jaws of literally life, cut, yeah. and they had to literally cut the door out. And when I got out, the person's yard that we we're in the front of, she's like, "Hey, you guys okay? You guys okay?" I'm like, "I gotta go pee real quick." <laughs> so I went I inside pee. the room. I'm surprised you didn't already piss your pants. <laughs> No, no. So I went inside the house, used the bathroom, and I was like walking out. I just like looked over that stuff and like, huh? Where's my Game Boy? <laughs> like I was not even thinking Mickey, about it. You're that fucking soldier from Save It Private Ryan, <laughs> who doesn't realize his arm is off, and he's looking for it on the floor. Only replace the arm with a Game Boy. <laughs> though, like though literally was... ignoring the carnage around you. <laughs> But there's Link well, to be fair, just wandering around or just game boy. <laughs> well, to be fair, like when I walked out and when the guys from the paramix said, hey, you mind laying on this chair? We got to take you to the hospital. I'm like, I oh, feel fine, but okay, sure. Like when I was like laying down and he just got on the ambulance, I'm like, holy shit, I was in a car wreck. <laughs> okay, you know, hold on. let's level up God real quick because he's only three. He's, I think he's a battle all way. Go yeah, I was just like laying down there in the paramedics, just like looking up the lights. I'm like, was I really in a car wreck? <laughs> And then when my mom came in, she's like, Oh my god, Justin! Oh god, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I just had a car wreck. It's outside. weird how <laughs> the mind works. Uh, or how the mind processes things sometimes. Because sometimes you honestly God, don't recall. or you, you just can't put one, two and two together with what the hell just happened. Because I actually had something of the sort. I, well, not so much. It, it wasn't an accident. Uh, but... Earlier this year, I went to Georgia in March to go see Nora. Uh, for the oh, uh, one question. Our, uh, hmm. Everybody was fine. Uh, my brother and the driver, they had a couple scratches on their face because they were right there in the front. But other than that, everybody was perfectly fine, including the person in the other car. Continue. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. No. Well, that's good to, that's good to hear. Um, I went to Georgia in March uh, to go see Nora, and... As luck would have it, I, I catch something in the middle of the week. I was only there for, like, the weekend, that Friday and Saturday leaving Sunday. And I got a fucking cold or uh, a sickness uh, that Saturday, and I felt like shit. And I, for, you know, well, literally and, you know, mentally, because, you know, damn it. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this time to go see Nora, and I get fucking sick. Uh, but <laughs> the, the flight back home, uh, I'm guessing maybe because of the shift in cabin pressure... Or just the weather. I passed out. Really? Like I, I fainted on the plane. Like I, re I recall getting my drink from the stewardess and getting lightheaded, getting a cold sweat, and then next thing I know, my, uh, the passenger on my right side is shaking me on the shoulder because I'm spilling my drink all over my legs. And it, Linky, it was instantaneous. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> like, know, I know. It's like, just, just I was funny. aware one second, and then the, the, the what felt like another second, I my drink was all over my legs. <laughs> and and I, apparently, I passed out. But it's, like, it, it, it didn't feel like it, though. That's, that's really fucking weird. It, it didn't feel like it. And then I thought, fuck, it looks like I pissed myself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shoot, Sturtis, come over here. <laughs> I got coke all over my pants. Oh, you do drugs? No, man. I like coke and cola. It's all over my pants. <laughs> Sounds like you're it fainting. It freaks me the fuck out. Like, because I don't faint. Like, I don't pass out. I don't faint. But now, now, now I, I, you know, honestly, God, I get kind of nervous now when I'm on planes. Because I'm thinking, if that shit happened, you know, because there's nothing worse, nothing worse than feeling some sort of anxiety or sickness when you're in the middle of a fucking air ride. Because oh. you're like 30,000 feet in the air and it's like, I can't do anything about this. <laughs> and I hate <laughs> feeling nauseous. The worst feeling in the world next to got to go into the bathroom in a subway station. <laughs> <laughs> I hate 
Nausea. Nausea drives me fucking insane because you feel it coming and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, unfortunately, that's just... What am I he... doing? I have... <laughs> I got to be using my <laughs> elemental levels. Okay. Uh, let me focus on stamina. I'm about to say there, the other car that happened was literally when... When my brother got his license, we had this old car, and we wanted to go stop by the gas station and grab something to drink. And it was a very foggy morning, and the windows were like a little bit, we couldn't see through a lot. So I had to roll down my window just so that way we could see. Now, there was another family in like this big old dump truck or anything. Yeah. This dump truck. And I don't know who came out first, because at the time, because it was like late, early in the morning, I was just like trying to wake up at the same time, because... Usually every morning before I go to school, I usually go to the gas station and pick up some drinks, uh, pick up some snacks and stuff I usually have for lunch during the time. And I don't know what happened, but all I remember is that we go ahead and pull on out, and all of a sudden, we get frontlined it on the uh, front right side of the car where I'm at. Yeah. We spin out, we go into a ditch, There's ki uh, there was a group of kids and the father inside uh, the truck. And they basically spin out the road, and they almost flipped their car, but they managed to, like... You know how there's, like, the little, uh, cur like those little, uh, stuff right next to the roads where it's, like, uh, having, like, a little ditch? They basically kind of land on the side of it, but enough so that way they can get out. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But, like I said, they're all fine. Uh, the only bad thing that happened during that thing was the kid actually had a sprained uh, wrist. And he had to go to the doctors for that. And I remember the same thing happened to me again. Because this was the second time I had a car wreck. And I was just like, yeah, I gotta go pee real quick. <laughs> that was experience. Every time! All three go times! I to pick up some snacks and drinks off some diesel. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I don't know why, but every time I had a wreck, I just gotta, like, I gotta go pee real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you convert all the fear, anxiety, and pain into urine. And so okay. that's why you survive accidents and you gotta take a piss immediately afterwards. Okay, I will say this right now. All the times there have been in car accidents were not me driving. I am the very responsible driver. Yeah, I'm never driver. getting inside a car with you. Because no, if, 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 if... No, those if, were other if, people, though! I you, you're a jinx, bitch! <laughs> Knock on wood. You're the Eugene. You're the Eugene of the group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm fine. <laughs> well, Linky's fine. You just gotta take a piss. <laughs> hey, guys, I gotta go behind the street. <laughs> so you hope you know what, motherfucker? I hope you survive another crash. There's no bathroom next time. <laughs> now you have to piss on the floor, <laughs> like a normal crash victim. <laughs> <laughs> But okay. honestly, <laughs> okay, we're, we got to call it a wrap. We're we're ending this stream because we're we're two and a half hours here. All right, so I'm gonna post an update on the um, uh, I'm gonna post an update on the the, the Subject Discord. Uh, I'm gonna be hosting a Q and A tomorrow, uh, for Sub Night. Uh, and you guys can get your question. We'll have a conversation going, talk about you know, whatever the hell you guys want to talk about. For the rest of the month. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and make those things like at least once a month, uh, just so we can you know play catch up. And, Campfire songs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Geek Tips. <laughs> Wait, Rare Foil, Wolfie, I'm a little white. You don't have to stay, man. You're free to leave whenever the hell you want. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. We got we made good progress in, in terms of the grind. Uh, we still got a few characters left, though. So. God damn it, man. Uh, I mean, who else is left? Oh, I'm fucking. Actually, end the stream. Let me go to the ship and see who else is left to grind. Because I gotta do that at some point. I would really like to start Kefka's Tower next week. By the way, people, people are asking who the uh, Eugene is. He's basically the kid from Bayardo who basically is bad luck altogether. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's just JoJo. Jo. <laughs> All right, Jojo, you're, you're getting left behind, dude. All right, fuck it. I'm, start, I'm, start, I'm starting Kefka's Tower next week. <laughs> and Jojo, Jojo just weeps. <laughs> dude, I, well, I never bring Jojo to Kefka's Tower anyway. If anything, you have freaking Getty. Yeah, I know. Or uh, Jimbo. <laughs> That's all <Yeah>. you need. <laughs> all right, next week we're starting Kefka's Tower. We're, we are starting Endgame. Uh, is this an under-level challenge? No, it's more like... this is this. These are normal levels for Brave New World. Uh, because the cap, I think, in Brave New World is 50. 
And I've never reached a level cap in any Final Fantasy ever. So, I, I, I'm not going to start doing it today. I'm pretty sure I already saved a uh, six, but I'll do it anyway because you made me paranoid. At least I'm going to be useful. Yeah, so <laughs> next week, we are starting Endgame. We're going to go to Kefka's Tower and then weep and see how long it's going to take my ass to beat it because Kefka's Tower is a shit little boss fight. Like a shit little boss fight. We got we got Inferno. We got the the two dragons. We got well, we got Guardian. Uh, we have the, the Warren Triad. Oh, don't say Guardian. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's <laughs> no, okay, Linky. It's been PTSD. Months. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, who else? I mean, I mean, obviously the the last boss, the 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 the, 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 the tower of the gods. Uh, yeah, and there's also Kaiser Dragon, because that was added into Brave New World. Ooh. So, hopefully things work out. Everyone's at a level I'm pretty happy with, pretty comfortable with. We'll see what happens. I gotta use strategy. That's how it works. That's how it always works. And don't meantime, forget to stop by. <laughs> I will thank, thank you guys for tuning in, as always. Thanks again for the, the follows, the bits, the subs, the resubs. It's delicious. I uh, thank you all for your love and support. So tune in next week for Session 23, Final Fantasy VI, Brave New World. My co-host Kinky, uh, Dinky, <laughs> Blinky, and Sue. <laughs> I'm back, man. How many nicknames am I going to get in these I'm going to get, I don't know. <laughs> no, nothing going to replace Kinky. <laughs> good King, Kinky, Linky. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. I'll talk to you all later. All right, we got to raid someone. Let me uh, check my page here. Uh, PK Sparks is streaming. Is Tim streaming? Uh, let's see. Who's Tim? Oh. The PK. Capri sign? Oh, the... Uh, I don't know all these people's names. There was, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, he probably doesn't probably tell people that. Uh, yeah, you know, let's rate PK. If he's streaming, he, let's go rate him. Yeah. Today was a very interesting night. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're rating him with nut. Uh, <laughs> with Hashtag new it. Passport it. He'll get it. No, okay. he won't, but... <laughs> He'll nut. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's no nut November. <laughs> all right. Send PK my love. I'll talk to you guys later, all right?